What's up, everyone? It's your boy Blazed X Inferno. And I'm E9117, and you're listening to episode 86 of the Infernal Gaming Podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome in, everybody. Um, we're recording this episode um, 520, 520. So a couple of days before it drops, like a day or two before it drops. So not too hot. You know what I mean? Got a lot here for y'all on this show, man. If um, you're new to this show, just know you can listen to us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. Links are in the description. Check out our personal links as well. Remember to rate the show five stars on Apple and Spotify to help us grow. And if you're watching us on YouTube, I always say, please hit that like button. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit that like button, man. It helps out a lot, man. It helps out a lot. It helps out a lot. We had a great episode for y'all we got a lot of things to talk about we got a lot of things i've been really excited about recording this podcast i've had a lot of things in my mind um about some of these topics that we're going to share with you guys today that i've been kind of just waiting on talking to you guys about man so we're going we're going to just jump right into this one man we're going to raw dog this one we're going right in man yeah i mean no introductions y'all know who i am blaze x inferno you know who my 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 guy here is with the clicking and the clacking of the keys. That's oh, motherfucking my e bad. No, you good, you good. You good. It's E Night 117. You can find all our links in the description. Make sure you check that out. Um follow us on Twitch, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, we're gonna jump right into this one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hit y'all off the bat with something. You know, we usually talk about what we've been playing lately and stuff like that. I've been playing a lot of games i've been playing like a lot of different things i'm almost done the cyberpunk dlc so maybe by the next podcast i'll be able to talk about that mm. i'm playing hogwarts getting ready to beat that um, i forgot all about hogwarts yeah if you i have if, it too if, <laughs> me too i have it too I've, I've had it since it came out well i haven't started it at all i was like oh i'll play this later and then i totally forgot i had it yeah I gotta beat that shit, man. And then, uh, as you, if you've been watching the streams there, partner, you would know we've been playing a game called Red Dead Redemption 2. I've been playing a lot of that game off of stream. I've been playing a lot of that game off of stream and on stream, a little bit of it on stream. Man. My man's a dick. I, I am, man. It, it, that game should have got the love that GTA Online gets, and it didn't because... It's hard to sell people on a cowboy. Uh, I, I thought it was just the hackers and servers, but not. No, I mean, they, that, the only reason the hackers and the shit is that bad is because they fucking rock stars. Like, all right, we're done. We're going to keep updating this game that's been out since 2013, but we're done with this one. So. All that shit is making them a shit ton of money, though. <laughs> so yeah, but they, they could be making a shit ton of money on Red Dead Online if they actually did shit with it. Like they, they could. Didn't, it's true. Just, they, uh, didn't, they didn't do I it. Guess, they didn't... I, I was going to say, I guess they they didn't because they're working on GTA 6. I think it's that. Plus, again, I think... Because there was a time where like GTA Online was falling off. But what keeps GTA Online alive is role play. Mm -hmm. But for the online aspect, like people spending money and stuff, is they're constantly adding new cars, new guns, new apartments. And then when they came out with that heist update, I think that was like 2015, 2016. When they came out with that update, that's what like brought the game to life again because that game was falling off. And then that heist update came out and it changed everything. They just need to do the same thing with Red Dead. Just give us a little. Heist yeah, definitely update. heist heists would definitely make that game a lot more fun. It's crazy how that game got an award on Steam for the best community game or community support, but the game is literally they literally killed it last year. Like Rockstar was like, after the Halloween event, they're like, all right, that's it. Like game's done. Like we're not doing any more with Red Dead Online, and it's just like fuck. But the uh, game is still really good, and I love it. We're having a lot of fun playing it. But a game that I've been playing a lot of, and I'm gonna give you a review of today because I couldn't give you a review back when we first started talking about it in March. 
is Rise of Ronin. We got like 12 hours in on the playthrough. If you want to see where we're at in the playthrough, you can go check me out on YouTube. Blaze X Inferno. I got like the whole playthrough up there. Oh, I think like seven or eight parts because we, we've been streaming it for a while now. And uh, to keep it short and simple, the game is a honest 7 out of 10. Damn. 7 out of 10. And 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 that's where I'm going to keep it at. Um I I think it could get better, but I don't think it could get any lower than that. You know what I mean, and I say that because a lot of people um were harsh on this game when it first came out because graphically it's not that impressive. It's it's kind of like, it looks like a PS3 game sometimes. I'm not going to lie. The open world can be a little shitty and be like a bad Ubisoft game where there's just stuff to do all over the the map that just makes no sense and stuff like that. Um, but overall, um, I think the the core thing that everybody's playing the game for, which is the gameplay, the fighting, is pretty smooth. The parries are good when they respond well. They're, they're good, I think. Um, it's definitely one of those Souls games that kind of uh, make you want to parry more than block. Like, I know in Elden Ring, I just I, I tend to block or, or roll out the way. With this game, I, I, I feel myself taking that chance to get that parry because the parry is so satisfying in this game. Mm -hmm. um, I still think Sekiro's got like the best like Dark Souls parry system. Same thing with Bloodborne, uh, but it's pretty good. The the character customization is dope. Um, the RPG elements are pretty nice. Um, I like the game. I like the game. I give it a seven out of ten, and I say uh, get it on sale. Don't buy it at full price. I think the way this game was marketed was kind of the reason why I picked it up. I really thought we were getting like a, a, a knockoff brand Ghost of Tsushima game, and it found out the hard way that it was a Souls-like. But I stuck with it, and I'm stuck now. I'm stuck in a game on a fucking crazy boss fight. But I've learned it's one of the Elden Ring aspect to it, where it's like, all right, you're stuck on a mission. Go ahead and grind and go get some better gear and go get your shit up. With the side quest, so that's where we're at now. But overall, okay. I do like the game. Get it on sale. I don't think this is like a seventy dollar game. Like you got to run out and get it. I get it for like forty bucks. I mean, forty and below. Um, pretty decent. Another game I give you a quick review of because I'm almost done it. We're almost done it. We're gonna finish the game tonight. Is and and this will go into our first topic as well. Um, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Man, we're almost done that game. Oh, really? Almost done. Yeah, I'm almost done that game. And uh, it's like I said, man, a lot of people make this game out to be like the worst game of the year when I don't think it's even close. I. I think it's one of the most disappointing games of the year. It's definitely a disappointment, but it's not the worst game. I think that clearly goes to Skull and Bones. I can oh shit, I, I forgot all about that shit. I can confidently <laughs> say that because I played it. I, I played the trial, and oh. that game was just bad, poorly designed. It's one of those did, things like it did, could be fun if it was built a little better. Did but, you see that uh, Angry Joe review he did on it? Skull and Bones. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that shit is so. I didn't think it was that bad. I just it's thought bad, it was like, dog. yeah, yeah no, nah, that's bad. bad. That and that's why I'm saying with with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, I didn't know where to, to rate it. I was gonna give it a five out of ten because on, on on some real shit, the game is just mid. It is just mid, which would be a five out of ten, you know, just average. But then I had to think. The game's not average. It's a little below average. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. I'm going to give it a, a 4 Damn. out of 10. I, I think this is a 
easy bargain bin. Wait till it's free game because it might go free to play. I, I sure, really it think, might shut down. I think it's gonna shut down. We were talking about that this morning, and we think uh because we're gonna talk about it here in a second. I think uh it, it's just this isn't what the people wanted with the franchise. Um I thought they, they could have did a little better with it. Um the story isn't bad. I'm not going to cap. Like, the story is its saving grace. And it's probably, like, three of the four points I'm giving it is the story is actually pretty decent. Like, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? Like, it's not as bad as everybody's saying. Like, yeah, you guys have all seen what you've seen of it and what you do. I just think what br- brings it so low down in the score is the gameplay is just not good, man. The, the mission structures uh, are is bad. The, the, the boss fights are repetitive and a little too fucking easy and kind of the samey. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's that gameplay that's kind of just, uh, like if they, if they could fix the mission structure, what I mean by the mission structure is, the side quests are all technically the same. What they do is you'll click on a side quest and it'll be like, defend this computer. But defend this computer, but you can only damage your enemies with grenades. And you go do another side quest and it's like, uh, you know, follow this robot, but you can only kill enemies with fire damage yeah i mean it's just it the the mission structures are just weird like i don't like that it it gives you all of these abilities because there's a lot of abilities and there's a lot of unique builds i think which is another good thing that i do like about the game is like you can build your character like kind of to fit your play style to to the t but it's like the game never lets you fully like use it to its full potential Mm-hmm. Unless it's a story mission. If it's a side mission, there's always a restriction. You know, grenades or you can only kill them with melee damage or fire damage or ice damage. It's weird, man. And it's just, I don't like it. The The story's good. And that's all I say. Like I said, just wait till this game is like $10, $20, $10, $10. I say $10 or free. Um, don't spend any money in this shit because they're they're likely to shut this game down. I think uh, for the people that are invested in it, I truly do think you're gonna get like three more seasons out of this. But then after that, it is is DOA. Like this game is done. Mm-hmm. This game is done. Like I think they already got this content packed out. Like they got the next three um, characters planned out. I think they're gonna just drop all that. And once it's all said and done, hey, we're done with this. We're shutting this thing down. Or they might go free to play and try to recoup, but yeah, I don't think they're gonna recoup. I mean, I even if even free to play, it's kind of a hear me out. Kind of a I, loss. I think this game's biggest issue is its price point. And I only say that because look at a game that's got a lot of success this year, which we'll talk about as well. Mm. Later on the podcast, Hell Divers. It's a forty dollars yeah. game, pretty complete. It's got a lot of content, got a lot of meat. Little it's simple, added a lot of content to it mean? since it's launched too. Yeah, hell yeah. I feel like this game would have done better if it was just cheaper. If it's it wasn't possible. a seven seventy dollar game with a hundred dollar version, I think this game would have been better if it was like a thirty dollar game. With a fifty dollar version, this would have easily been like a six, at the highest. I think the price point is what fucks the game up for me. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't didn't it, wasn't this one of the ones that had the uh, extra hundred dollar um, purchasing edition to it? Yeah, the hundred dollar version. Yeah, I, th- I think that it's it's something we'll probably end up talking about a little bit later with uh, Ascreed, but. Um, yeah. I can't wait to get to that. 
<laughs> but the, the 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 I feel like that over uh well uh, to me that's like overcompensating for something that probably shouldn't have that much like that that much of a price point for a game that's technically supposedly was going to be single player and then nobody wanted to that's the, that's the most important part like you saw the reception to this game this is the, this is the thing I don't get you saw the reception to the game you didn't pull the plug that's cool that's cool IGN uh, uh, came out with their own article saying it's mid as fuck and instead of you know it's crazy to me though why they IGN had an agenda. they had an agenda IGN comes an agenda. out no 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 IGN the glazer of games comes out you know, gives everything a fucking nine out of ten, seven out of ten, whatever, right? It's either above average or unless unless there's like outrage about the game, they usually don't change their scores. They come out of, come out and tell you straight up this shit is mid as fuck. And you see that you pull the review copy. I don't Dang. know. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like they gave you honest feedback for once and they were like Damn, well, you, nah, you just couldn't accept that. That's dog, crazy to me. They dog. had an agenda, man. I'm trying to tell you. You could tell like there was there was some type of agenda with that shit. Like, yeah, the game is mid, but like seriously, the how, how is it an agenda if the game is mid and people just don't like it? How is that an agenda? Because the thing about it is the game could this is one of those th- oh. Ghost Recon breakpoint moments, all right? Like, Ghost Recon breakpoint, when it came out, was, like, easily a 3 or 4 out of 10. Right. right. That game now, I-, I would I would seriously put it, like, at an 8 out of 10. And that's that after was, after at, updates after and they removed all the major looter shooter mechanics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's still there. It's still there if you want to play it that way. Because there's I mean, people who want to play it that way, but I don't. I don't yeah, no, I, I'd probably not play that that way. I'm sorry. No, yeah, there's people who want to play it that way. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of in the Ghost Recon Breakpoint community. There's like a couple guys I used to run with mm-hmm. on PlayStation, and my one friend, he preferred playing with the looter shooter mechanics. He preferred playing that way, but that was just him. That was just the way. He liked to play the game, but me, right. I like it with all that shit turned off. A headshot is a headshot. You know what I mean? Well, it's like, to me, that's like for a game that like, the original Wildlands, it's supposed to be like a tactical immersive shooter. Yeah. To have looter shooter mechanics just shoehorned in there. That's yeah. That, that would kill my yeah, emergency. It, it was bad. It was bad. And they turn it around and it's to me, I mean, I'm killing yours. I think it's one of the best milsim games that we have like mm-hmm. out right now like you can get it for really cheap it, it i have it on both pc and playstation i play it on pc like full immersive mode with like no hud no anything that game is like great for that it's just great for just really being on some milsim tactical shit but it's only after they turn it around i think and i don't think they'll do this after like i said we're going to talk about next Mm-hmm. I don't think they will, but if they overhauled this game, it could be like a seven out of ten. It could it could be a seven out of ten. What they would need to change is, like I said, just the mission structures, some more variety in enemies. Yeah, you know I mean, right? Little well, little. Just... Th- well, oh, oh, hold on. All right, all right, all right. So, first. Uh, can you just clarify about the the agenda thing? Is it an IGN agenda or a, 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 a Warner Brothers agenda? With the I with think the it's an IGN agenda, man. I they, don't. They, they came out when they were playing the early build. Like I'm talking about before the the looter shooter shit. Right. They were they were on some smear campaign type shit. You could just tell, like like I said, like this game, and I'll stand on it. It's mm-hmm. not the worst game that I've ever played, like, everybody on the internet's going to tell you. Like, Mm -hmm. it actually is fun when I'm playing it. It could be a lot better. That's why I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. I mean, 4 out of 10 to me is below average. It's below average. That's really what it is. It's not the best game. It's just a little short. 
It's not a fucking skull and bones, which I would give literally like a one out of ten if I could. I could give that game a one out of ten. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, skull and bones is arguably like the the worst game. That's why Ubisoft is trying to drop all this shit and they're trying to restructure and all that. This game could be good. Like, I don't think they will. I don't think they'll they'll do anything with it. So it's probably right. gonna stay the way it is. My my thing is though, at least with the IGN agenda thing, it it came out even even after you played the shit, you're still saying it could be good if they fixed a bunch of shit. Most of the shit that they you want them to fix is like game mechanics, fundamentally, boss fights, NPCs, AI, missions. Like you said, the story's somewhat decent. I can give you that because it's like that's like usually going to be a subjective thing. Some people don't like the story. Some people do. A lot of people didn't like that one part of the story where that one thing happened. I'm not going to spoil it. If you want to figure it out, just go ahead and Google yeah, it. Wasn't that bad. It was literally one of the controversies for the whole thing. But um, I still think it's like the game was built to be a four-player co-op game, kind of like their other game. What was it? Uh, Gotham Knights? Yeah. But they added... You know the looter shooter mechanics. They added, mm-hmm. they made it a live service game when it should have just been a single player slash co op game, right? Mm-hmm. The fact that you have to be online to you know play the game in the first place is is, is kind of weird to me, considering. That's how- one thing they said they're fixing. They said they are going to make it a, a offline. Mode Was it offline or is it like you got to sign in and then they're like, no, all right, you're they, offline. They, 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 they're saying there's like an offline mode, like you can play. It. You don't have to be connected to the, the the Warner Bros. service or anything like that. Yeah, like that's yeah. coming. Like they they already said that before the game dropped. Like I'm I'm just saying, if if you're telling them they're basically revamp the entire game, it it might be because the game's bad to begin with, and at that point, it's either they can go free to play after all the updates. But if they go free to play, I don't think they're gonna get much traction. People might try it and then go, nah, not for me, and uninstall. I'm trying to find the words. This is this is how I'll sum it up. I'm gonna sum it up like this. I think the game isn't for me. Mm-hmm. It's not for me. Cause I, I've seen people like like hardcore defend this game. Like I, I've, I've kind of linked up with the streamer mm-hmm. um, that that um has been playing it. He's been playing it since day one. Like mm-hmm. and 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 not gonna lie, he did say he was disappointed with this season one. I heard the season one is ass. I didn't do any of the season one content. Well, from what I heard, it's like you have to basically do all the same shit you already did in the main game. Yeah, to uh, unlock to Joker. until. Till level 35 to unlock Joker without having to pay for him. Mm-hmm. Or you can just pay 10 bucks yeah. and skip it. Which yeah, but, it's yeah, like, he, that's that's shitty. Yeah, that, hell yeah. That is, hell that yeah. is 110% grimy, shitty gameplay I, I mechanics. And, and that's why I told a lot of people the only reason and that's why, again, I'm giving it I'm, I'm not speaking high praises of this game. Like, it's so great. I'm just trying to say, like, I think the rhetoric of this game is that it's, it's like completely horrible. It's, it's I think terrible. You, you're saying people are blowing it way out of yeah, proportion. It's not that fucking bad, dog. Like, it's it's really not, not great, but bad. it's not bad, is yeah, what you're it's saying. It's not that bad, dog. Like, okay. I, like, I just don't think it's for me. Like, I like looter shooters, but I just think this one's just not. I don't for think everything me. needs to be a looter shooter. I think that's the problem. Yeah, I, I think, think this like, is a superhero I, game. It yeah, doesn't I need this. I think like the people that are having fun with it, they're generally having fun with it. Let them have fun with it. But like, if you did get a chance to play it for yourself, you can kind of judge. And a lot of people will tell you like, I had no problems with it. Like as far as like crashes or anything, it mm-hmm. wasn't that bad. It ran very smooth, really good. Was that like when you play? When did you uh, play it? In the, when it came it, like, out, the weekend or? it came out, like that okay. weekend it came out. So yeah, it, yeah. Because I know some people said they had issues, and one of those glitches just showed the end of the game too. So yeah, and, and like I said, I had really no issues. I just think like the 
that whole like the side like the whole point of like looter shooter games is a grind and i don't want to do the grind because the grind is fucking Flame. restricting me and i don't like that that's my that's my biggest gripe that's my biggest gripe like imagine like you play destiny and it's like uh kill these enemies but you can only do it with your 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 melee like you would just be like dog like destiny had those quests though and they weren't weren't boring that's like like guess destiny had a, a they had those quest bounties they didn't have full blown no 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 quests. they had exotic quest lines right and one of the t- one of the things is like kill a thousand highs with the uh what, what was it the uh remember your favorite hand cannon that did the poison yeah, the damage thorn. the thorn you needed to kill like a shit ton of hives with with the uh with a uh i i think it was just uh, any any uh what is it the revolver type the hand cannons yeah, yeah bro but yeah. what i'm trying to say is it didn't literally like that was like you cr- like doing a quest in a mission Imagine if you could not do any damage to any enemy without hitting them with a certain element throughout uh, the whole mission. That's what I'm saying. Uh, like that was something like I could pull my pulse rifle out and get the blast in and and the guy would actually die. Yeah. I just wouldn't get anything towards my exact. Yeah, I see, I see what you mean. I see. So it's you like literally the, <laughs> like when you start the mission, it's just like, hey. You need to damage these guys with grenades. Like that shit just it's, burns. It's not me like out. when you're like just playing mindlessly and you're just like, why isn't this mission ending? I'm killing all these dudes, and then you yeah. actually read what you're supposed to be doing. It's yeah. like, oh, it's literally yeah. the mechanic is you cannot do damage unless yeah. you do this. That, that is ass. ass. Yeah, it's yeah, ass. nah. Ass, and I don't like it. Four out of ten. Again, not the worst game. One of the worst games. Not the worst game of the year. Um. If they do overhaul it, I might come back. But I've been telling people the only reason I'm playing it, like I'm not planning on doing any of the season one content. I'm just trying to beat the story so I can delete it off my fucking hard drive. Is there even a story with the season one content? Or is it all just audio logs and shit that they locked it behind? I don't know, man. I really don't know. I just, I bought the game because my friends told me to buy it and it was something to do. And I was like, fuck it. I do it for the content. And that's why we're here now. I mean. That shit. Shout out to my 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 Twitch people, man. But, oh, uh, but yeah, what did they? The, uh... the reason why uh, I highly doubt they're gonna overhaul this game and do all yeah. of these things that you know another publisher would do because Bungie's done it. Bungie's overhauled their entire game, their whole their whole model at one point. Yeah, people you know weren't feeling it and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, is because Warner Bros. lost 200 mil on Suicide Squad. They took a huge, 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 huge hit on this game. Um, from the article, I'm paraphrasing now from the article that I read, it was basically stating that uh yeah, they didn't meet the expectations for this game at all. And uh I I, I if you invested that much into this, I, I don't I fire whoever your game's director is for this game. I'm sorry, like this, two hundred no, mil. But that's the thing. That's a the lot. thing, though. That's the biggest thing, though. Let's, let's you be- can tell. You can tell. Like Rocksteady didn't want to make this game. This was Warner Bros. Somebody high up that was like, "Yo, we got to do this. We got to get this thing rolling." Because again, we we got to stop acting like these things just happen. And 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 these people are out of touch with things. They they people see the Fortnite. They see the Apex. I, they I see mean, all of that shit. They see I mean, all of these live okay. services right. doing well, Listen. doing great. Listen, I I can I would say that if it was in a vacuum, right? Yeah, go ahead. If it was in a vacuum, and they were just like, you know, that Destiny game, that Fortnite game, doing well. Let's do our version with our IP, which is. DC superheroes and villains and shit, right? And it's like, all right, you can give it a good shot and you invest 200 mil. Now, let's say half of that is marketing, right? Let's just just cut half of that and have, be generous yeah. and say half of that shit is marketing, right? 100 mil yeah. to develop the game. Even after public like feedback during the alpha, during during the beta, like the 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 
the pre pre like right before they launched whatever that release was and you still got backlash and a shit ton of feedback about why this is dumb like we knew the looter shooter mechanics were in the game before the game came out right yeah yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We so saw like and a lot of people were like yo we don't know about this i don't like that right you like remove ign from the situation right the people in general are like, yo, this is kind of, sh- this is corny. Why, why is this in a game that's basically just single player co-op? Like, right. Why is it live service? Like all that shit. You had all that feedback from your base. The people that played the Arkham Knight games, even the Gotham Knight game, which wasn't that like a hundred percent great, but like people still played it. Like they had all this feedback. They could have pivoted, right? It probably would have cost them some money, but it, they could have pivoted. Right. I feel like after a certain point, like I, I agree, Warner Brothers probably forced this decision on them to make a suicide type game. But I feel like at a certain point, you could be like, here's here's literally the people who are going to buy our game are telling us they're not going to buy our game because of these mechanics. We can still do the live service thing. We just can take out the the mechanics. Right. I feel I like I feel like they could save it. They could have saved it. Maybe it wouldn't have been a game I would have played personally, right? Regardless, I don't play a lot of superhero mm, games. Yeah. It's just not my thing. Yeah. But it still would have been a game that that community could have enjoyed. Maybe instead of Suicide Squad, it could have been more of an expansion on the Arkham universe. Mm-hmm. It could have been like, uh, what is it? Young want. Justice. Yeah. Uh, shit like that. Or if you wanted to do Suicide Squad, you made the gameplay less looter shootery and more like if you don't fucking do the missions within a certain time frame, you just die. You blow up Sh- the shit that they get threatened with all the time. Right. Yeah. Like true to the, the, the actual comics and lore and everything like that. Yeah. So that'd be a gameplay mechanic. And you'd how ha- you wouldn't have just four dudes like boomerang, Harley, uh, King shark and um, the other dude. Deadshot, like you, you would have like a good roster to start with, and then you can do the live service thing, and release characters like a hero shooter type John, right? Yeah. You you could do that without the looter shooter mechanics, I and agree. each and instead of making every single fucking character use guns, <laughs> you could have them use their actual fucking abilities yeah. as primaries. That I'm just saying, yeah. They could have pivoted and it probably would have been it wouldn't have been a raving success, but I think they would have at least made their money's worth. Listen, I, I agree with you 300 percent but this is something we've been talking about on, not only on this podcast, but for the for the people who do kind of speak in the right direction on YouTube that does don't use so much negativity mm-hmm. on YouTube for clicks and stuff. This is what they've been saying for years is that you do have to understand that some of these uh publishing studios are just out of touch. Yeah. Like I said, look at look at I, I'll take you way back. I'll take you a couple years back. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear Survive. Why did a game like that come out? Yeah, I mean, these game studios are just out of touch. They see a trend and they chase you. And yeah. they tell whatever studios that they got, yo, um, we were in a board meeting and we came up with this idea that you should do a suicide squad game and uh make it a live service because that's what the kids are playing these days. That's what everybody's playing. And, mm-hmm. and we are, we're all playing live services. We're all playing. Hell divers is a live service. The best, yep. the best live service, but the it's the best a live example service, of what live service says. could be so exactly, far. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But still again, uh, Angry Joe says this all the time, and I agree with it. It's one of the few things that I agree with. I love him to death, but sometimes he just can be a little whiny and complaining. But it's like he says it all the time. Like these companies don't want the mo- just some of the money. They want all of the money, man. Mm-hmm. They want all of the money. And sometimes they just they just roll that dice. Like they made a lot of money off of Hogwarts. That was part of the article, right? Was basically like they're not going to be laying nobody off or doing nothing crazy because at the end of the day, the losses that they suffered from this game pretty much got made up with the overwhelming 
lead positive success of Hogwarts. Which is kind of ironic because that's a single player game through and through. Yeah. No multiplayer whatsoever. No, no, no multiplayer. But like again, you got to understand. We I think we said this a couple podcasts ago. There's apparently like 95 percent of game studios are working on uh, live service games. Mm-hmm. Like this is this is just them looking at us. Like you know what we're doing. Games we're playing. You're playing Fallout 76 right now. Mm-hmm. It's a live service game. It is, you yeah. Know what I, mean? I play Call of Duty, live service game. You know what I mean? They're 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 seeing the metrics and they're and they're they're just gathering the data without doing. If you've been looking at a lot of these layoffs, right? A lot of these layoffs are are hitting one department in particular, and that's QA, dog. And if you know what QA is, QA is very fucking important, right? Mm-hmm. We've become the QA now, and we've been doing that for over a decade now. We're, uh, the player base, the day one buyers, or, or the, the you know the early adopters, because even if you buy three months down the road, you know you're still considered an early adopter, whatever fucking case may be. Wait, really? Um, for like an actual yeah, official yeah. release? Because you gotta think they wild. go off of quarterly releases. So if you buy within a certain window, you're technically part of that first wave of people which i mean that first wave that i mean that's supposed to happen but like early adopters is like before the first wave or like people who i I guess guess. would pre-order uh uh, and and have like a pre-order for it but like i don't know because there's some game companies release games that are full price and then say it's early access i forget what game did that they try to retroactive hades Hades two. Hades 2 is doing it right now. It's early access? No, it's there was a access. there was a game that was full price and it said they tried to like cover their tracks and say it was early access and I forget what it was. It was like a third part of, it was third triple A fucking um studio. I just forget forget the name of the game. But basically they they tried to say it was early access which just ended up making people a lot more mad about it because it's like oh early access full price let's go you're not talking about gray zone warfare are you i don't think so no i i, I don't think it was that type of game it was like i feel like it was a game like um it was definitely a shooter i i'm not sure if it was like redfall but i i don't think it was it might be redfall i don't think they said that though no, I don't think they the said game that. felt like it was an early access yeah. but I, I can't remember the title. I'll probably remember it like after we get done recording. Yeah, but, but like, yeah, no, that's that's what I'm saying. Is like some of these some of these games release in like an early access state, like a, a almost beta style state, and then no, people that's, are that's like, because they're firing QA, man. Like they, it's not even it's not even that the they're QA, firing man. QA. It's just like maybe the QA is like not like all right. Maybe it's more or less like you, the QA testers they do have are like just saying yeah or the qa is usually responsible for finding bugs as well and there's only so much they can do before it's like like you need like a thousand people like look at hell divers right there's so many bugs in that game sometimes sometimes i'm pretty sure (laughs) i'm pretty sure they had qa testers for their studio but sometimes it just takes a shit ton of people to to find the right um bugs and shit i agree so it's some things are definitely going to get past qa but i don't think qa is directly going to be like a hundred percent like responsible for like um shit like looter shooter mechanics getting through you know what i mean no i just think i think a lot of times like again like you said like i think these developers do mean well like you you seen that with like cyberpunk it was. It wasn't the development. Yeah, I don't. It was, it was CD Projekt Red. You see it with a lot of these games that fail. It's. It's even with as much as I. I don't like Skull and Bones. You can even see it with that man. You can see it like with that team. They didn't want to make that game. Same thing with Redfall. They didn't want to make that game, but Xbox was like, "No, we need this. This is what we need. This is what's gonna make." The Xbox. I thought right they in. would. I thought the studio did want to make the game, and that was their creativity. No, no. That was that was what what's his name said. Phil Spencer said. Uh, 
Uh, I, I remember them saying that they didn't want to make Redfall. I mean, right. at one point they were just kind of like, this isn't, you know, what we're, the, the, you know, the goal is, the the, the, the goal mark is. Mm-hmm. And, and, and like I said, I just think all of this shit can easily be prevented. I know people are going to bitch and complain about everything regardless, as we're going to talk about later on in the podcast. Yeah. People are going to bitch and complain. They're going to do that. They're going to do that. I think a lot of do. things. I think a lot of these things can be just kind of doctored and 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 did the right way. If these companies sometimes went about things a different way, like hear me out, right? Stellar Blade. Right. I haven't played it, but I hear great things about it. That game for the longest, people were just looking at it like, okay, it's another, you know, single player. PS5 game coming out. Nobody paid any attention to it mm-hmm. until that demo dropped. When people got to get a little vertical slice of the game and kind of fill it out, people were like, oh shit, this is what y'all cooking up. All right, we like this. I mean, and now it's got this big success. Like it's 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 got people two big it. successes. Yep. Yeah, people love it, dog. People fucking dog. The, de- the demo alone had like at one point, one weekend, I had like 65k people playing the fucking demo. Like, the, I hear the, the plot's the, pretty the, good too. Yeah, the developers had to come out and, and tell people, like, chill on the demo. Like, I heard people had like 200 hours in that joint. Like, it's not that long of a demo. You're gonna beat that shit like I, I think 45 I, minutes. I think I know why they were, they had 200 nah, hours. I do too. I do too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think if a lot of these companies presented things a lot better. And we're just kind of like more like and we need more demos. I, I think that's that's a more fun. Yeah, hell yeah, we need more demos, but we need more like community interaction. And I'm not talking about you just looking what people are saying under your Instagram posts or something. I truly believe this is what I believe, though. You y'all can prove me wrong. Mm-hmm. I think Discord and these little Discord communities are the best way to to ascertain feedback from the actual fucking players, not the people who are just want to, because that we were talking about this this morning, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't play sports games, but I'll never go out of my way to go on a on two K's Instagram page and say this game sucks. Like I won't do that. Like that takes one too much effort, and two, it's like why? If I don't play, like I'm just not gonna comment on it. Like, right. You go on Call of Duty's pages, like all these people who you can tell just don't play Call of Duty and have any years, but they just pull up to the page just to let everybody know, hey, I don't play Call of Duty anymore. This game sucks. It's like, okay. I don't know what you're trying to prove there, but like, okay. But I think <laughs> on like, the, the, like I'm in a couple of Discord groups for these um early access games and I'm playing and shit. Mm-hmm. And you could tell like these people actually are giving fucking feedback it's not just people just like your game sucks fix it it's like yo i played this and i noticed this here's a video here's a screenshot here's this here's yeah. that here's yeah. this. it's like people are actually giving you fucking feedback on the game not just people mm-hmm. saying your game sucks fix it i'm i'm unhappy with it fix it like like real shit fortnite is arguably like the best battle royale game out right now I'm going to just mm-hmm. go ahead and say it's the best. But if you go on the, the fucking page, this game died five years ago. I think Fortnite is in the best state it's ever been, dog. Like, that is... A well, it's because they stopped, they stopped um, focusing on the competitive aspect. They went full... Uh, yeah, the, Roblox the with it. Yeah, they well, not even Roblox. Like, like, they went casual. They Casual friendly. Well, not just that, but they, they also made it to where... Fortnite is a game within a game and within a game now. Like it's it's bigger than just mm-hmm. a battle royale now. It's so much more, and it's just it's an expanding universe. It's probably only going to get bigger. Fortnite is like the ultimate game right now. Yeah, you know I mean, but if you go on the the Instagram page or you go on their Facebook page, you'll see all oh, this game sucks. Haven't played it in five years. It's just like the you're not. Why are you even here? I mean, I think what we need more of is just if you're going to drop a game like let's think of an upcoming game like uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid Delta, right? Mm-hmm. Just make a Discord page. 
Everybody join the Discord and just share little things with the Discord community, but also share it on social media because it's easy to get all that shit out everywhere. And just have that intimate feedback right there with people who you know, because it takes a lot of time to get into these discords and and and, and go through all the steps and, and do what you got to do with some of these discords for these um these big game projects and shit. And yeah. just get the right feedback, man. Like, I think with a lot of these games... I don't think they're just getting the right feedback. You're you're get think of it like you're on a stage and, and, you know what I mean at a, a huge concert. You're giving out a huge concert and people are screaming at, at all over you. You don't know if they're screaming, you know, because they're excited or they're screaming because they're mad. You just know that there's there's some people that feel this way and some people that feel that way. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? 90% of those people aren't even gonna play the fucking game. You know what I mean? And 10 of them are just, you know, either disgruntled and don't like what they're seeing or they like what they're seeing, but they want to see more. That's what you need to fucking cater to. And I think we've been saying this on the podcast for a while. I think that's what's important is focus on that, like, 10 people. Like, we've said that on 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 a couple podcasts ago. We're talking about, like, all these games shutting down and shit. It's just like, you know, instead of trying to get all of the money, Work with the people that you have because word of mouth is a motherfucker. Like, mm-hmm. look what I just did. I just made fucking four people, all right, buy fucking Red Dead Redemption 2, a five year old game in the span of like a week. You know what I mean? And that's just me. Like, imagine right. if there's other people in that community that felt just like how I felt and wanted other people to play that game with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, I just think. Things like Suicide Squad, you know, Skull and Bones, Metal Gear Survive, mm-hmm. oh shit, Anthem, oh, oh my god, god Anthem. Anthem. Anthem, that Anthem. sucks too because Anthem's had such good it's flying good game, mechanics, good game, good game. had yeah. decent combat. It's, Spoiler it's, alert, I'm streaming it soon. Oh, uh, is it still available to it's actually the, stream? You can, play, you can play and shit too. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, but um, no, Anthem, Anthem, Anthem. Could have been a great game. Could, could have been, been a good game. Could have been. Could have been. But think about it. Was some they good fucked feedback. it up. <laughs> was some good feedback. Not even good feedback. We gave. That, that's the thing. All right. So you you sitting here saying good feedback, right? Most of these games don't get feedback until they launch. By then, it's already too late. That's true. Right? That is true. And that, that that's the true. problem. It's not. It's not about having good feedback. Right, because you can release a game trailer like Assassin's Creed and release the trailer just for the newest game. All right, I'm sure they got plenty fucking of fucking phenomenal. feedback in the comments section about that shit. It was fucking but, phenomenal. But that being said, the game there's no gameplay in the trailer, and the game's not out to be tested or demoed or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And it probably won't be until launch. So right. the problem is, is that. You had your gamers are being forced to take a gamble since exactly. games have gone up in price because they're claiming production costs. Yeah, which is um, true. Which is true. The we can't deny that, man. We can't. We can't. It, it really depends, either. though, right? Like the production. It, I feel like if anything, the technology has gotten better, so it's a little bit easier to make games. I think the problem is is that how they make games is yeah. why the production costs are going up. Yeah, these big-ass budgets and shit. You right. don't need... I don't think you... I mean, I mean I, I'm going to use Helldiver as a prime example for a double-A game that you don't need a big-ass production for. They're using a 10-year-old engine that was discontinued. Like, the, yeah. you can use old shit and get good results if you, like, have the passion and the drive. Problem is that most of these AAA companies don't have the passion yeah. or the drive anymore. It's gone. It's all yeah, about just making gone. money. Yeah, it's all but, about making money. The, to my original point, like, I feel like if the games had demos or betas, like the X, all right, X Defiant beta, right? Mm-hmm. You had you had a lot of like comments about it. You said you know it could be good if they did X, Y, and Z. That's 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 QA done right because you're QAing with the community. That's what we need more of for multiplayer. Yeah, that games. game drops tomorrow, man, and I'm I, I, I'm gonna I'm download like, it and check it out, but. Yeah. The problem I'm having though is uh, single player live service games because live service games are usually released in a skeletal state, no content really, 
just the on base. On purpose, by the way. You usually on purpose, right? You know, yeah. we have prime examples, Halo Infinite. After that secret beta drop, millions of Call players of playing it. I mean, playing it. Yeah, Call of Duty as well. Um, fucking pretty much like Destiny One was like that. Like mm-hmm. the, it, shit. Even if you if you ignore the campaign for Destiny Two, it's technically the same thing. Like, it's technically the same thing. Yeah, yeah, but like this, the, the problem is, is that um they're doing this live service because it's safer to do a game where you can kind of tweak things and release a shit ton of content over time rather than gamble it all on a multi-million dollar um, single player game. Right. Cause there's mm-hmm. always a chance that Hogwarts legacy could have bombed. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, I think there's a chance that there's a reason why it did, it did really well is because of the controversy around it i, 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 I it feel like no because that I, game, man. No, <laughs> no 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 listen listen i feel like it amplified it more than it would have if it just released normally uh, it put it I more i feel like it put it more on people's radar than it than people would have been like oh that I hogwarts that game. was already on people up radar man i mean i know for sure for a couple of people yeah. but like that's <laughs> me it was not no, on my radar beat, at I all ain't beat it yet, but that game was on my <laughs> i didn't even play it yet, but like it wasn't on my radar at all and then and then that controversy happened and i was like oh okay let me take let me look at it a little bit more closely but that's that's what i'm saying is like it's more of a gamble to drop a million plus dollars on a single player game than it is to put it on a live service game because a live service game has a chance to give you infinite uh money yeah Technically, I, I just think, like I said, I, I think the biggest problem with a lot of these games is, like I said, like it, it, it's. It, I'm gonna just talk on the live service part. Mm-hmm. I think it's just like I said, like there's nothing wrong, especially with live service, dog. Just give a couple people who are in your Discord, you know, some keys to a vertical slice, the game, let them test ride, drive the shit, mm-hmm. give us some honest feedback because. That's what I'm really excited about X to find. This game had a lot of hands-on time, a lot of betas, a lot of alphas, a lot of things that they've done to kind of get to this this point where they're like they feel confident enough to be like, all right, preseason time, baby, let's go. You know what I mean, and I really do think like this game is gonna do good. I do think X to find is. I think it's gonna be a fucking mess tomorrow. I think servers are gonna crash. All yeah. types of shit. It's, it's typical sure. shit. I wouldn't even try to play it the first day. But I do know that this game is going to have a certain level of success to it just because, again, I think they put the time and effort into it. The game that they showed us three years ago when we first talked about it on this podcast compared to now is totally different. I think that's all from them just listening to... The, the feedback that they've been getting from the people who've actually played the mm-hmm. game, had hands on time with the game. Gall and Bones could have definitely, definitely used this treatment because, again, I do think Skull and Bones, they're probably not going to do it. Mm-hmm. In another situation. If they did an overhaul, which means they'd have to completely overhaul again they probably have to charge you a 70 dollar expansion to get that shit right because it's going to cost them so much more money to to literally do the things Mm. that i think everybody wants in that game but nobody's going to buy that shit so that game's doa but i think the thing with suicide squad is again just take the time do a destiny do a do a um uh new light do a new light like they did with destiny just kill some shit change some shit create some new some new shit with the dead shit right and just go free to play or or at least bring the price down like permanently like thirty dollars and it goes on sale for ten dollars every once in a while whatever get that game in the right state i think people will i think the barrier of entry is really what killed Suicide Squad. I stand on that. I think if this game would have dropped at like $30, $40, people would have been a lot more forgiving of you. The $70 is fucking kind of crazy for it. $7 plus the $100 uh, Yeah, I, I'm shit. not going to lie to you. Like I said, I, I think that's the biggest issue with the game, and I'm going to stand on that. 
I, I think, think that's that a Dota, lot of issues with most yeah. of these games is that they drop with a hundred plus dollar uh, additions yeah. with no no real value to it other than maybe a season pass for content that mm-hmm. may or may not come. We've, um, been, we've been talking about that during the podcast, and it's like I said, I I we're, we're gonna talk about, but just to glaze on it real over it real fast. Like I, I always say. The thing with these these different versions, right? Because the, the the controversy right now is that the hundred and ten dollar version of Assassin's Creed Shadows is um, being pre ordered more than the standard version, and people mm-hmm. are losing their fucking minds in that shit, right? But the thing that I don't grasp to get right is that mm-hmm. people are doing what they want with their money, and that's fine. And I know that it sets a bad precedence for things. I get it. I, I truly understand that vision. Like the more we we buy into these things, the more everybody's just gonna jump on. And you know, sooner or later, every game's just gonna be coming out at the standard edition is $110. But I do think it's one of those things like I'm gonna use Hell Divers as another example. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a good it's a good example, trust me. Hell Divers came out with a $40 version, but also had a $60 version. Mm-hmm. You could buy the forty dollar version and then later upgrade to the sixty dollar version if you wanted for like an extra twenty bucks. It was like mm-hmm. twenty dollars. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes for some people, with the, what they want is what they want. So mm-hmm. some people saw Hell Divers and said, "I'm gonna buy that sixty dollar version." Me and I think you two, E Knight, we bought it yep. both for forty dollars, and then I really liked the game. So I went and upgraded it for yep. twenty dollars. So you just gotta let people buy the shit the way they want to buy it, man. I do. I do want to add a little asterisk there. The, the main main uh, thing you got from that was the war bond there, the super citizen war bond. Yeah. Which you could also buy from the in-game currency that you can yeah. find out there. So like, you don't technically have to upgrade if you too. You got some drip too, some guns. I think you got the helmet. You got the fancy ass helmet, and you got. Yeah, you, but the main shit, people, the guns, the guns from the war bond is is definitely what you get. Yeah. Um, but I can I can just say this now: it's like it was a completely optional thing, yeah. right? Yeah. So I I want to say like I think I think what it is is that I think people are tired of seeing. Well, to me, I I would I wouldn't have released the pre orders until actual gameplay came out. You know what I mean? You want to I think roll it's, into this conversation, man? You want to just get yeah? You want to just talk to about Assassin's Creed, all of, all of the shit that went down with that? Yeah, so yeah, let, let, let the Suicide Squad thing, like I said, they took a two hundred million dollar loss. It's I think an L. Be all right. It's an it's L. A, I mean, I think, to be I honest, think personally, I, I can see some layoffs got, coming though. I, I'm yeah, gonna be honest I, with you. I, I, I don't think too. Hogwarts is gonna fund I can that see shit. That too. I can see that too, but I I do think this game's got three more seasons. And it's done. Like they, the, whatever content that they they've already, because the roadmap was there from before the game dropped. So they already got that content ready to go. You can you can see from apparently what I heard about season one. It's just reused content basically with new characters and stupid shit on the map. So they're gonna just do that for three more seasons. The game will be around for three more seasons. After that, I think the game is dead. So I wouldn't spend any money on that. Joint. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even buy yeah. it. Until you know for sure you can play it offline, because that I think that's probably going to be something that like determines whether or not I try it or not. Is like if it comes out, if I were to buy it now and then like let's say I got on sale for like thirty or forty dollars, and then like they shut the servers down and I can't play it no more and I can't refund it. Like I I think that would be the biggest fucking issue yeah. for a game like that. Yeah, but, but let's talk about this motherfucking this 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 this. Oh my god! All right, all right, all right. Let's 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 wait. Let's the save the juicy part for last. All right. You know what I'm you talking about, about the trailer. I thought yeah, it looked I cool. About. I thought it looked cool, but it's a CGI trailer, so I yeah. I have no idea what the game's actually gonna be like. Like it could be like an Odyssey, it could be like fucking Assassin's Creed One. I don't fucking know. I think it's gonna be like Odyssey. I, I, I feel like you're right. Kind of stamped that. I'm I'm kind of hoping that they change like a little bit more of the combat because I've uh, never been a huge fan of a- Assassin's Creed's combat. I want it um, to be like Odyssey and Valhalla. That's what I want. That's what I want. But it's set in Japan, 
And I think the problem, my problem with the the whole dropping the trailer, I this trailer should have dropped like maybe way earlier. And then I feel like they should have dropped an actual gameplay trailer and then released and then opened up the pre-orders with all the fucking additions and shit so that people I are better agree. for yeah, for agree. making a purchase decision because yeah. yeah you can just cancel your pre-order when the gameplay trailer comes out if a gameplay trailer comes out again it should but i don't know for sure if they're gonna release one but my 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 issue is that like shit like this i feel like the you you should release actual gameplay so we as the consumer to can can decide whether we want the regular edition or the 130 40 dollar edition um or not buy it at all i want that just, 110 man let me get that yeah but why don't, why don't you tell us what the editions come with so that way okay. we can see why people are going for the 110 instead of just the standard edition which i think is the better deal that's why i'm getting the 110 that's why i'm getting it so you got your three editions. They're doing the same thing they're doing with Star Wars Outlaws. We had this conversation on the last, not the last podcast, but the the the, the, the episode 80 or 83, whatever it was, when we did the live one. Um uh you got three editions, the 70, 110, and 130 dollar version. The 70 dollars just gets you the game. Mm-hmm. That's it. Uh the 110 dollar version gets you the game. Three day early access in the season pass, which the season pass is confirmed to have two full size DLCs in them. So similar to what they did with Valhalla and Odyssey mm-hmm. and Origins. So you're just expecting an extended story. That's all you're. Exp- that's all you're expecting. DLCs come out after or before. After the game, you know, okay. probably like a couple months after. So it's not game. content that's locked behind a paywall, right? Nah, it's coming out after the game. Okay. And then the one hundred and thirty dollar version is uh, uh, all of that with the 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 last version, but you get like some skins. Uh, I think you get like an art book or some shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't really look at it. All I saw was the the, the one ten came with three day early access. And that season pass, and that's all I cared about, just getting all that shit in one in one boom. Like I did with Starfield. I did the same thing with Starfield. And they just they just dropped the hint that the first DLC for Starfield is coming out in fall. So I'm just, okay. just waiting now. Just waiting to, to play my DLC that I already paid for. Okay? It's all paid for. I ain't got to worry about it. That's why I want the $110. Because I don't want to have to worry about it later. Because I know me. I know me. I've been waiting for this game for a long time. I've been waiting for this. It was Assassin's Creed Red for the longest. Now it's Shadows. I've been mm-hmm. waiting for this game for a long time. I've been a big fan of the last two Assassin's Creed games, minus Mirage, uh, Odyssey, and Valhalla. I, I put over 100 hours into both of those games. Um, I really liked them. Um, I think there's going to be another one, so I'm just going to Put that bread up. You know, you know, put that. But I don't never, I usually pre-order like the last week, like the a week or two before the game comes out. I'm mm-hmm. not one of those, I'm not gonna pre-order right now. Like the only game I've ever done that for was Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, oh. Like I pre-ordered that shit like nine months before the game even came out. I only usually pre-order if it's like a game I really know I'm gonna play the shit out of. Like I think I did pre-order Hell Divers. When it, when I saw it announced, I was like fucking instant cop immediately. Yeah, I so. think uh, I think with me, this is a yeah. I'm a, I'm a definitely uh get that 110 edition. I think if they do the uh, same thing they did with Odyssey and, and Viola, Blaze X Inferno will be very pleased. And no, I'm not streaming this game. This is gonna be my little off stream chill game. I mean, I might have to take a couple of days off of streaming. Just to play the motherfucking man, because I don't want to be bothered by y'all. You know what I mean, I just want to lose myself in this game, man. It looks good. Um, the trailer showed two protagonists, mm-hmm. a um, female ninja. I forget what her name is. I forget what how you pronounce it too. Um, and then a samurai who's black. Mm-hmm. That uh, the internet is going. The fuck wild about, man. Like, the fuck wild about, man. Yeah. 
And it's just like he's based off an actual samurai, though. That's that's he, what I think is. is cool. Yeah, he is. But even if he wasn't, right? It, this 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 is the hypothetical I'm gonna throw you, motherfuckers, dog. Because right. you know, what I mean, this this is the wild thing about the world, man. You know, even before there were airplanes and shit like that. You know what I mean, people traveled all over the world. Man. They, mm-hmm. they've been, people been everywhere, man. There's there's people there's people every fucking where man, you know what I mean there's 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 fucking white people in Asia, mm. there's, there's there's Asian people in in fucking Europe, you mm. know what I mean back in the 1500s and shit like that, people travel they migrate to different areas. It's the human thing to do, man. So mm-hmm. it's not that far fetched that. There would be a man that is not Asian, right? Mm-hmm. In a continent like Japan, who might just happen to become a samurai. It's not that fucking crazy of a concept, cuz it's mm-hmm. not it's not that crazy of a concept to kind of like grasp in your mind. Because my biggest thing about this conversation is like, why are we even having it? Like, honest to fucking God, like both sides of it, like. I don't even know why we're talking about it. All right. So, like, one point I can understand. Some people wanted a Japanese male protagonist. Is apparently one of one of the complaints. And I feel that. I do feel that. They wanted. They wanted to, you know, play as, as that. I mean, technically, there is a Japanese person that you play as a protagonist. You're just not a man. It's a woman. Which, yeah. me personally, I don't give a fuck as long as the gameplay is good. Like I said, that's what I've been saying. Oh. Uh, the other thing is that it's still this game is not like a hundred percent. Well, the Assassin's Creed's game has never been a hundred percent historically accurate. They have some historical figures in it for sure, but I'm not gonna sit here and be like, "Oh man, this is exactly how you know World War II yeah. played out in the yeah. Assassin's Creed World War II game." Yeah, but, you know what I mean. Like it's it's obviously you got like the weird uh, storyline with the um. Da Vinci uh, totally made an assassin's blade in a glass. Yeah. <laughs> you totally da Vinci was that. part of the part of the whole thing. Like, like, like I said, I don't even know why we're having this argument. No, I, know? I think it, I think some people, I think some of it is genuinely. Some people just don't like black protagonists or like female protagonists in their games. I, 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 re- I really think that is just a genuine the thing. Go woke, bro, the go woke shit is crazy, dog. Like the go woke crazy. shit. I mean, I can't sit here and be like, "Oh man, this this is a, this is like a, a possibility," because it might actually be a possibility. But it, at the same th- time, it's like you got to actually let the game come out first before you do anything like that. that and make that's what like I was that. talking about with my boy Ron. Man, we was talking about that. Like, we don't even know. What they about to cook? Well, the game might be shit. ass. Like, let right? them cook, but yeah, but even if just let them cook right now, we have no idea what they're gonna be doing with this shit. We have no fucking idea. Yeah. The samurai, for all we know, could be a fucking templar. He could be some. He could be of, an ass secret bad guy. Yeah, yeah, you never know. Like we have you no playing idea as the evil we, guy the whole time. Yeah. Who knows? Like, but let these people cook like. I, 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 my thing is, is like, I, I think I like the two protagonists route, right? I don't, like I, I like said, too. I don't, I don't play Ass Creed games. Though. I watch from afar. I just see, I see you guys playing it. I'm like, yes, I wish I could get into that gameplay. I just don't enjoy it. I, I played Brotherhood. It was all right. I played, uh, I think I played a little bit of the first one and I tried to, Valhalla? I tried to play Valhalla, man. I really tried. I couldn't get past so the good, like man. the beginning area. I really, I was, I was just like, I, I am, I am so bored. It's just so much all at once, and I was it like, is, I, it is. It I'm is, like, dude, I is. just, I'll just go play Skyrim. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. It, no, no lie, no bullshit. That's the one thing I tell people with like the last two Assassin's Creed games. It's just. Once the map opens up, you're like, fuck, man. Bro, the like, map's opened up from the beginning. That's the problem. There's yeah. not really much of, like, here's how yeah, the mechanics the really work. Yeah, and, and, and here's in really... way, it's like nothing. But when you get the England dog, and you get to seeing, like, 
all right, this is level one to ten. This is yeah. level twenty to thirty. This is yeah. level, and you look all the way in the back. It's level fucking one hundred to one hundred fifty. You're like, god yeah. damn! Like, like, like I'll go, I'll, I'll go back to it because I did pay money for it because I want to, I want to go back and give it an honest try. But it's like, it's just definitely do that, man. I, it's I, just I it, so man. much in the beginning, and then I wasn't like I said, I wasn't even in England yet. And it was just like, bro, like, what am I doing here? Where am I going? I'm tell you, it's good. It's, 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 it's like you said, I, I'm clearing out my black, my black log. <laughs> 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 Fucking Freudian slip there. <laughs> but yo, yeah, but like it, black people can find shut the fuck up. It'll get me canceled. I didn't even do shit. But no, nah, it's uh, this, this. This shit though is, is to me it's unhinged because like it's they're two protagonists. If you don't like the protagonist, don't play the game. Like that's that's pretty much how it should be, right? And then if their f- sales directly affected by it, then it's just like th- th- that's what they have to deal with it. Like their majority base doesn't like yeah, their cool. protagonist. I'm I'm gonna like the game regardless. Right? I mean, you know why you're gonna like the game because your whole fucking shtick is a drunk fucking black samurai. <laughs> yeah, man. And not even that, man. Just fucking. Bro, I have I, your like, PNG. Really, it's literally you in yeah. a samurai suit. <laughs> I, I fucking yeah, I love samurais, man. That's why I like Valhalla so much because I like Vikings. Like, I, mm-hmm. those are my two favorite like things: is Vikings and fucking samurais, dog. So mm-hmm. when I saw samurais, I said we fucking in there, dog. I saw ninjas, I said we even more in there because I love that shit too. I mean, so we we just the fuck in there, dog. Like one hundred and ten percent, or one hundred and ten dollars. We in there, Jesus dog. Christ. Yeah, I, I think there. I'm gonna wait if it, if it, if I like the look of the gameplay from an actual gameplay trailer. I'm gonna wait till it's on sale because I know I'm not like a hundred percent like hyped up for this shit. Yeah, I would just play. I play Viola, man. You got you got to do it. I, I'll get I'll get around to it, man. I got I still got to get through Star Wars right now. Odyssey's on sale for $10. Right? I already have it. Oh, Odyssey? Yeah, no. Yeah. No. Odyssey's no, arguably the, Odyssey. the... That's arguably the... I think Odyssey's better than Valhalla just because mm-hmm. it has ship combat that is really good, and then it has, like, the mercenary system and shit like that, which mm-hmm. is really good, but Valhalla's good, too. I do like Odyssey more. We, we did a little uh, tier list that one night, and I put Valhalla below odyssey i think odyssey is is, is s tier beat it out just S-tier. by a little S-tier. bit S-tier. 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 Games. It's so good it's so yeah good. but i think i think as far as like this the, the like i understand people being mad about the whole pre-order shit i get that there's no gameplay trailers and people are buying the 110 version because of the and in, in the the implied value of it yeah um because if it's a game they're gonna enjoy might as well invest and get the the DLCs right. Like that's the logic of it. Um, the the problem I have is just there's no gameplay whatsoever, so you can't actually honestly tell if that you're gonna actually enjoy the game from just yeah. like a, a a a peeks into the game's uh like gameplay. But like I think the the protagonist shit is like wild. I understand maybe they should add a third. Uh, protagonist or maybe like maybe both these guys are going to be well written so it won't be that bad yeah this is the odyssey team working on this so it's it's, it's if they're well written and there's no problem like yeah. th- my thing is i just hate bad characters that are just stereotypes i hate that shit so yeah, i hate like, that shit too and so, I hope, that's what i'm praying they don't do but i i think i think they'll do this this shit right yeah, like, as long as they write both the, characters good, I don't, I don't, I don't think it'll be bad. I like, think the only good argument is wanting to have two Japanese protagonists in the game. Like I, I, one hundred percent get that. Like I get that. Yeah. But to just say like this game is going woke and they're doing all this shit, it's just like, well, bro, like it, it's, again, it's, it depends on like what the actual content of the game is. Yeah, we like, gotta see when the game come out. We gotta see if it goes. Well, it's not even that. It's like there's there's there's, there's, there's like implications in other games where we, we had talked about how like certain examples were like kind of like shooing in the door and it's like, why is this in, in the game? Like this has nothing to do with this. Oh, like with Spider-Man and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, shit like that. If there's examples of that, then you can sit here and have somewhat of an argument yeah, for that. Yeah, you can that. have an argument, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but it, you, the game hasn't come out. You have no evidence for it other than you're saying there's a black protagonist and then a female Asian protagonist and it kind of just doesn't 
like that alone isn't enough for me to go oh that's what it's a woke propaganda i need to see more i need more evidence to support these claims before you can sit here and go oh yeah they went full political they they went full uh shoehorn the politics into the game type shit yeah. like uh, like I then, uh, shit, then I can though. see it. I don't think that shit. We we'll we'll, see, we'll right. see when the game comes out. Yeah. You can tell me all about November it. November fifteenth, man. Well, I have it November twelfth for y'all, man. Oh my god, yeah. The the early access for single player games is kind of wild to me. No, I, don't I like think... it personally because for somebody like me with a busy schedule and find you both Star Wars and fucking this game drop on a fucking Friday, which mm-hmm. is like the one day I stream. The longest and the biggest, and and do all the the fun stuff. I mean, I don't want to stream a game like this. Or What's have that to called again? What do you do? What is it called again? Friday night fight, baby. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, Friday I night forgot. fight, baby. Yeah, but uh, um, yeah, they both come out on Friday. So for this game, I'm actually happy that I'm getting it early because I that gives me time to just play off stream because I don't want to I don't want to stream this game at all. Like, y'all will not see me play this game on stream. Like, I'm not doing it. I don't think it's one of those games you should stream unless you plan yeah. on playing hours of it per stream. And yeah, no, nah, nah, I'm not doing I, it. I've, I've made the mistake of trying to play some of those games. Like that, um, what was that? Mass uh, Effect. Well, no, Mass Effect, I, I think you can deal with because it's not that big of a game. But um, I it was uh the the fucking Cthulhu game I was trying to play. That shit is oh, like yeah. a whole sandbox open world shit. And I did not realize that. I thought it was yeah. gonna be like mission based. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not trying to do all that. Yeah, that's how it is with um my Final Fantasy playthrough right now. Like it's just so much fucking content, man. It just yeah, it's one of the, yeah. unless you plan on playing it a lot on stream, I feel like you're gonna just burn out of playing it. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, it's just I've already made the my mind up. Like that game is my my all right, stream's over. All right, cool. Switching over to Assassin's Creed and playing right. that for a couple of hours type shit. Yeah. So, like what I do with Cyberpunk. Like I have my stream, I get on Cyberpunk or I get on Red Dead or I get on whatever. But uh But yeah, yeah no, in, in short, this this the the backlash so far seems like it's just it's just dumb shit. It, Dumb shit and dumb people saying dumb shit. I think Ubisoft shit. likes it because it's bringing a lot of attention to this fucking game. They probably do. I'm uh, not gonna lie. They probably benefit in some way. I mean, technically, it's PR. So that yeah, we shall see, man. I've I've high hopes for this. The good thing about this year is it's a really quiet year. Like the only games that I'm 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 looking forward you to. You say right it's now, a quiet year. It is. We didn't, any, we didn't get any like dog. Do you know what last year was? Last year was bad, man. Last year was like dog. July last year, I almost died, dog. Like I almost, I had to buy a fucking Diablo, Street Fighter, and fucking Final Fantasy sixteen in the same month, bro. Like, did that you, was bad. Diablo, Diablo four come out last year. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You sure? It's been almost a year. Been almost a year, man. I feel like that came out the year prior. I know, dog. It's been so long, man. It's been Bro. so long. Living in a living in a what you call oh, shit. Yeah, that shit came, that shit came out last That's year. That's wild. Cause I remember yeah. being forced to buy that shit, and then I was like, I don't know if I I didn't even finish that fucking game, and I will this I, I, I honestly, just came out is pretty pretty you fire. said that last time, and then I was like, you know what, maybe, and then I was like, nah, nah, it, you it, should it's, definitely it's, try this. Season. Nah, it's it's the gameplay, dog. It's the gameplay, dog. It just doesn't grab me. I'm sorry. It's cool. It's cool. That's, it just doesn't it's grab cool. me. I the only thing that stops me from playing as much as I play is because I have I'm just streaming so many games right now that I. I don't have time to like put that in anywhere. Like yeah. by the time y'all y'all hear this podcast, y'all know I'm damn near streaming like X to find all week this week. I mean, I'm gonna be putting. Is a that lot on of Steam or do I have to download the fucking Ubisoft shit? I think it's on Ubisoft. If you're doing it on PC. Yeah, oh, I think it's on Ubisoft. Oh my god! I mean, I already have an account because of Steam, because of Siege. But fuck, dude! I'm, yeah. I'm... Did you hear about their Ubisoft Plus shit too? Yeah, yeah. You can buy. You can buy. Um, you can play. Uh, Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed day one on their uh, it's 18 a month, yeah. 18 a month, dog. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, I'm good. Of, you get a lot of fucking games through it. I'm not paying for it, but I'm not mean? paying for shit. <laughs> yeah, for people people who like that type of thing, go go at it. That's oh, a that's, lot of games. That is that is wild though. It's like it's it's wild, but there's there's some value in that joint, man. Like I'm not going to deny that, especially with you know we should just pivot on to the next conversation real quick. Like they're talking about the fucking the game pass is going to get more pricier, especially because they're talking about the new Call of Duty is probably going to end up on Game Pass, but it's gonna they're going to put it at a higher tier. Like you're not going to have to. You can't buy Game Pass Ultimate and get the fucking newest Call of Duty. You're gonna have to buy something else. Like you're get you're gonna have to pay twenty dollars a month to play that new duty, dog. They <laughs> they want it back in blood, man. They bro, want that joint I, back in blood. I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm chilling. I mean, I'm Let's buying see. it. I'm buying it straight out. Like I'm not I'm not doing I usually buy it. That's that's right. why I haven't bought in this this uh year's card. At I, all. I I think if if you're not big on Call of Duty and you just want to see what it's about, and they're talking about bringing some of the older duties on there, mm-hmm. it might be the way, man. It might be the way. It might be the way. But how would you feel if they, you know, they upped the price, man? Up the of price. Game Pass? Well, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't pay for it personally, but mm-hmm. uh, I mean. They have a shit ton of games on there already. I'm surprised. It's a lot, though. It's a lot, it's a lot of content, man. It's, I'm surprised it's not higher already, especially yeah, since they, they're saying. forced the whole Xbox Live as part of it. Yeah, and you can't like on PC, it really. it's $10. It's $10 because you don't pay it. Oh, that reminds me, because I wanted to talk about this last podcast, but I totally forgot about it. Um, yeah, bro. So like this is kind of like a side combo uh, with the whole Helldivers Sony thing. I think there's a reason why... Um, Sony and a lot of other companies are really forcing these accounts to be made on on PC. Um, and this is a bit of conspiracy theory on my part. Go for it. I think they want us to pay subscription fees just in general, like how they had Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus or online, Uh, just to play the multiplayer games online. They I'm might thinking, be trying to test that out on PC. That, that, that might be I that, think that. I think it might be like a the, the be new, the new wave of bullshit that they want us to deal with. You might be on to something. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. You might be on to something. It's just it's just a feel it's just weird to me because considering after the controversy with Helldivers, I was like, why are they so hard pressed to make PSN accounts? And then I see the Ubisoft plus shit, and I'm like, oh. I think I'm noticing something here. I think and they're gonna be like, yeah, it's gonna be like ten bucks a month to play our, our games online, even though it's been free before. This this is what I think. And I, I think I said this on Twitter. This is what I think. I think with the whole PlayStation account thing, I think what PlayStation wants to do is there you see how they're kind of throwing these games on Steam. And they've been mm-hmm. throwing them on Steam and they're trying to and they're, and they're doing good on Steam. They're doing good on PC. Like, they, they release kind of busted. They're kind of shit. But people are buying them. People are playing them. People are loving them because they're, they're already good games. They just are shitty ports. Um, mm-hmm. I think what they're trying to do, because Sony is big on this whole streaming thing, trying to stream. Uh, they got the PlayStation Portal thing. They're trying to get you to, you know, stream your games and all this shit. Mm -hmm. I think Sony wants to make their own launcher. That's what I've been thinking. I think... I mean, I could see that. Sony wants their own launcher on Steam or on on PC and I think that's it. Because I I think the minute they try to say, oh, no, you have to have PlayStation Plus to play these things, I think people are going to snap because Xbox doesn't... and, and, And Xbox has... The one thing about Xbox is Xbox is parody, and I mm-hmm. like that because I bought Gears Four and Gears Five on my Xbox. I can play them on my PC too. I like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Well, as long as it's available on the the yeah yeah yeah, the yeah PC as long as it's port. It, yeah as long yeah. as it's available on that app, I can play it. Both of those are available, so I was mm-hmm. like, "Yo, that's pretty dope." But um, I it, Sony will never do that. But I think what Sony's just trying to do is. They're trying to 
find a way to where they can say the same thing Xbox says, launching on Xbox and PC day one. Da 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 da. da. I think they want. I think they see that PC money and they want that. But mm-hmm. in order, I think they want to keep people in their ecosystem with these games. And I think with Legends at least, and I could probably say for Hell Divers, they kind of probably just wanted the crossplay to be easy. Because the crossplay system for Hell Divers, um, what we're 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 almost four months in, three months in, a little over three months in now, it's still shit. You know, I tried to add my friend on PC and it was like, you know, really a fucking work. Yeah, the friend code shit like generates you generate a code mm-hmm. and apparently you only have a certain amount of time to to get that code going before that's, it's too that's late. fine I, i've had some issues with the social menu but like mostly everyone that i played because i no, play with a guy from we're, th- we're three months in it's no with- big deal no <laughs> game of the year right i mean I mean, it is, yeah, but uh, did it, it'd be a big, it'd be a big deal. Oh you? my god, here we go! No, 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 It's a conspiracy. It's an RGN conspiracy. I was having fun when I came back to playing that game that night, though, dude. Because it's just fun. It's stupid fun. All right, you turn your brain off. You don't. You don't worry about succeeding or failing. There's there's weirdos that care about that shit. I do. I care. No, no, but there's people that were like, bro, you're not doing the mission. And then they kick you and shit like that. When yeah, you're just yeah, like I'm trying to have fun, it. it's it, it's it's annoying. But I was gonna say, it's just like I have a guy on on PlayStation that jumps in my streams all the time, and I've added him no problem. Usually have no issues. I think the biggest issue is just the crashing sometimes. No, it's just it's just adding adding the, the person because it was a viewer of mine that wanted to. No, I'm I'm telling Steam. you. I'm and telling you, like a fucking so maybe it's, maybe it's a pain in the ass because you're playing on PlayStation and you're trying to add them through PlayStation. Because yeah, I, I in yeah. the inverse, I'm playing on PC. I'm adding people who use PlayStation, and I've had okay. virtually that's no what issue. He had to do for me, he had to add me. Yeah, so it's probably on on the PlayStation. Oh, no, I had to add him. I had to add him. I had to add him. All I right. kept giving him my code, and it wasn't working. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, uh, yeah, wait. I think what they were trying to do is they were just trying to streamline things because Ghost of Shima has multiplayer. Yeah, so, so I think weird. what they're trying to do is make that multiplayer cross play. It has a multiplayer mode. It's really good. I it's yeah, no legends mode. It's really good. I, I I believe you. I'm just saying it's just it's just I, I didn't hear about it when it came out, so I was like, because oh. it didn't. It, it it came out like six months after the game dropped. Or like a year after the game dropped. It was like a while after. But it's a pretty dope mode. It's like they got like a a, a horde base mode. They mm-hmm. have like a little story mode you can run through. That's and cool. Legends mode is pretty it's pretty dope. I'll play it um with black every once in a while. Because we right. both love that game. But uh I think what they were trying to do with that was again, they were probably trying to I don't know if Legends is on uh cross play on PC with the PlayStation version. But if it is, it's a strong reason why is because it, you know, requires that PlayStation account. And to, to be fucking fair a little bit, I'm not saying it was right. Because we talked about it on the last podcast, the shit was fucked up. Mm-hmm. But they were going to implement the PlayStation account thing in the beginning when Helldivers dropped. But mm-hmm. the game was, you know... Not in a good state when it dropped. It was kind of bad. You know what I mean? And it had a lot of things to worry about. So I think they put that on the back burner. And by that time, it was a hit success. And it was just too late for them to uh, implement those types of changes when it just, you know. They were more focused on increasing and... server space than actually yeah, making yeah, people. Yeah. No, I know. The the, the dude yeah, came out. Dude and said that. Yeah. yeah, he was like, yeah, it's partly my fault. But like at the same time. They locked. They they just locked it out of 170 plus countries. They did that like months after launch. That that's still like on yeah, that's Sony. Grimy. Yeah, that's that is on shit. grimy. That yeah, that that, that shit, shit. Like but... the the account thing is like to me like in the grand scheme of things, the account thing having to make in the PSN account. All right, you, you they've been hacked before and shit like that multiple times. Right, you know the, you have that concern. It, the option is all right. I have to make That's an account to play the game, concern, right? By the way, it's the only well, well, think of it like this: you have to make an account to play this game now. Um, 
after I had already bought it, after, you know, all that shit, uh, uh, I'm going to leave the game, right? Which people did. And people have still left the game because of this. So they're not not forcing people to make an account is probably going to eventually they're probably going to force hell divers to make accounts I, I i don't see it as being a permanent oh we won i i see it as a temporary win but like it's still kind of shitty that the game shipped to countries that don't support psn accounts as well as psn accounts being only made on consoles in some countries which makes no goddamn sense to me um Especially when you're going to be doing this whole I'm trying to port my games to PC type situation. So you launch the game full release. Arrowhead's not responsible for that. They, they've they said this in the post. They're not responsible for shipping the game. They just make the game and manage it. So like Sony themselves consciously put this out here. And it's like, well, think of all the other PC games that Sony has parted over. Now are those games no longer available for those countries and are those players uh, able to play all, those games? Yeah, they're all single player games. This is the first multiplayer game. Yeah, but the ghost dropped. I think Ghost of Tsushima yeah, Ghost of Tsushima was also a game that could have been yeah, yeah not facts. locked out to those countries because yeah, it's, it's technically mostly out, yeah, single player. So now they'll never yeah. be able to play it without having to like either lie about their country of origin, which is usually an account ban, yeah. or uh pirate it. Which I think I think don't they, think it's great uh, for I the think, developers because they don't get any of that money. I think Sony said they're finding a way to work around that shit, but I think I th- I don't think it's like as deep as uh, like people are saying. Like you know, they're they're trying to sell our data and shit. Like oh, they always I, do that. That that's I, I do. It's think always been a, a thing. A, I think that's a you know that's a, a fair, given with any company. Yeah, I think it's a fair thing, but you know we we. We got to stop acting like we don't willingly give our information to motherfuckers for no reason. Oh, we do. Every day. It's just, it's just the, the amount of like, what's it, what's it called? The, the, the like blatant, like, like you do one thing online and then you turn around and now there's like 18 targeted ads at you. It shit yeah, is like, that shit, yeah, that, shit, shit. that shit drives me up a while because I'm like, bro, I literally just accidentally clicked on a link You're like why are you sending me ads for this shit like what, what's man. going on now That's so it is man it's the, it's, the digital it's, world, man. it's just it's annoying and it's it's it should be like i feel like that that just needs government intervention at that point because yeah, it's like I it's agree. it's they just they just beat the shit out of Google for selling your information for using uh, incognito mode. They just hit him with a huge ass fine for that. Yep. My man I was silent maybe. for 10 seconds. No, did you hear me? No. Oh, yeah, I, I, I was agreeing with you. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, I bro, bro, yeah, bro got I, really I, quiet and he didn't. No, I. What you I doing agree. on incognito I, I mode, all, bro? I think all that fucking. I think all that, uh, Selling information shit is fucked up, but it's like, unfortunately, there is like no foolproof way to stop that shit. There is no fucking way, dog. Like it's just the way it is, the fucking internet now. You do anything on the internet, mm-hmm. you're probably gonna get hit with some cookies, whether you you know it or not, and they're gonna they're gonna target you with ads, man. It is what it is. I mean, it's scummy. It's fucked up. I hate it. I hate it too. I, I hate the shit too. But uh, to end this Hell Divers conversation, I'm gonna just say this, man. This game, listen, Hell Divers is probably game of the year, and it's probably game of the year because this game is so good. It gave us a mission in real life, though. It really right? did. That shit was great. It gave great. us a mission. It gave us some action. They were like game. review bomb the game to change Sony's <laughs> opinion. I was like, yes, sir. And we bought I got on cape that, for shit. that shit. Like that's wild, the cape is dog. fire though. It's fire. Like, like dog, this game might be game of the year, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I might. I might. Well, it's also yeah. the also one of the few games that's had like this much community. Just like people just just be playing together, and the major orders like killing two billion bugs. Which apparently, they said it was bugged, but you know, it's probably bot prop propaganda. Uh, but like, like the community wants to play the game. They want to do the major orders. They want to 
cooperate. It's actually one of the few games where it's like it's not a major PvP game that's super popular. They're doing what their the best to cut down on talk. Did this man, what's up with them, dog? Like I'm mad about that shit, man. I'm glad you asked because I have a lot of. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna end up making a whole fucking infinite could have been great video, like later yeah. down the line. I think, it, I think ha- Halo uh, could have been infinite itself could have been a great entry, the first great entry in my opinion of like three four three's life cycle of having the IP. Oh, uh, but shit, dog. They shit the bed like every time. Man, what's up? First of all, I ain't play Halo 5. You already know this. I don't have an Xbox. Oh, shit. Yeah. That shit's still not on PC, man. Oh, that's another L, right? It should be in the Master Chief collection, but it's not. They're not porting it over. The only it's thing, version game. of it that's that's on PC is the Forge mode thing so that it's a little mm-hmm. easier to make maps. That's it, man. Like you can technically play the game, but it's not optimized for PC, so it's dog shit. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's a they it's saved you that. low key, man. Halo Five's kind of bad, dog. I heard the bad. story made no fucking sense unless you read it's, the books. I, I had and, no idea what was going on when I played. And you show. don't even play him as Master Chief majority of the time, so I was like, you know, yeah, four I, missions. That's it. That's that's wild though. That's <laughs> wild. That's the main guy. That's the Once dude again, on the box. Once again, that again, a game was fucked up by a black man. <laughs> I don't even blame the dude. I don't even blame Spartan Locke's character as nah, like fuck that dude, man. <laughs> his his dude though, fuck his voice guy. acting was yeah, not great. Yeah. And his like, oh, he, oh, all right. Yeah. You know what pissed like me this, off? Like they brought acting. Nathan Fellian back as as part of his team. Yeah, and I, know. I am so mad because he is such a great voice actor. And this is the yeah. game you bring him back for. Like, what the he did fuck, a good job dude? on it though. He did as when he because he's been in the older shit. older ones. He's played Marines. Yeah. He's literally the one of the main characters in ODST. Like, dude's fucking yeah. goaded for voice acting in, in the Halo franchise. Fucking yeah, all around good actor in, in the in this one. Yeah, no, he he takes the augmentations this time around instead of just being an ODS. Yeah, he's a, yeah. He is a Spartan and shit now. He's a Spartan he's four, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's it's just like you have good a good character in here. You bring it into a game where it's like I wanted to see an interaction between him and Chief, like on a one to one basis. You know what I mean? Like that would have been funny as shit. He could have been. Yeah. Arguably, I could sit here and say, I don't want to say he's like a replacement for Johnson because technically Johnson's dead at this point in the story. But like, mm-hmm. spoiler alert. Um, but fucking, I feel like he could have been that comic relief that Johnson always provided in the have older game. Have you ever games. seen like cutscenes of the game? Yeah, I've seen I've seen the whole story Did from you on YouTube. The, the part with uh when Lock and, and Chief meet. Yeah, and they fucking box it up and Chief dogs the show that was that was that was, that was kind of dope but the thing is only, that it was the only dope moment in the game i yeah. seen people <laughs> people remake it in in like blender and shit and it's like how it should have actually played out according to the lore and it's literally just chief hits him once and he just goes flying because he's a fucking spartan too dude yeah and he just jacked but like nah nah halo halo is taking an l with how they've hand well 343 is taking an l their entire fucking shit I don't, I don't know. I feel like Infinite could have been an easy win had they actually had content and they pulled the full live service game drip feed content. Even the new fucking banished themed fucking shit. It's like the game mode that came out for it. Uh, it, it there was no game mode. They just revamped BTB. They could have had Juggernaut, right? That could have been a game mode that was banished theme. That would have made more sense. Instead, they were like, "Yo, BTB, new maps from the community." Made by the community and not by the developers. That shit is that shit is actually irritating the fuck out of me now because it's like the community maps are great, I think but it's working like on the next game, man. Yeah, they, they, they definitely are, are, but it's just like, bro, like you had like almost a billion people in your fucking beta for your free to play Halo game, and you fumbled the bag so fucking hard. Could have easily yeah. been one of the better Halo games, and and like even if the campaign was a seven out of ten, like. I agree, man. You had the Call of Duty kids coming off of Call of Duty to go. They play wanted it. you had fucking all the Call of Duty streamers going. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Fucking 
<laughs> Dr. Disrespect going, it could be great battle royale, man. Fucking, and then, like, the worst part is that it's the community that's keeping Infinite alive and not the developers. Um, I mean, they, they've made BTB uh, maps for the playlist. They've made arena maps for, for everything. Um, even even like the uh there's a battle royale mode completely made by forge forgers like they there's like most of the content in the game for multiplayer is just people doing shit in forge which is the only saving grace if forge wasn't out at all for this game it would have been dead it would have been had had like a hundred people yeah sometimes i feel bad for three four three man i don't feel bad at all i do because I don't. I'm gonna tell you why. The only reason I feel bad for him is this, dog. If it was me, and somebody told me, "Yo, you're in charge of the Halo franchise," I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. You know, you dog. Dude, that, I would. That that fucking franchise is legendary, dog. We're not talking about Call of Duty, dog. I'm talking about I'm talking about Halo, man. A a, a console seller. A generation defining game, dog. Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Reach, ODST, if you want to be nice. I mean, if you want to be nice, ODST about, is goaded too. Like, that's that introduced firefighting shit. It, it's, it's a sorry. great story. It's a great it's story. Right. It's great. Story. I like the story, but it's it's all right. Like, I'd give it its all right. But one, two, and three in Reach. We talking about we talking about legendary games, man. We talking about games that, again, define the generation, define the whole console lifespan. I mean, like it's 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 just hard to it's hard to fill that shoes, man. Like with three four three doing Halo four, like Bro. you can tell because I remember when three four three came in, they were like, "Yo, we're passionate people." We, Bro, they we, um, said they were fans of the game and they made it just like Call of Duty. I did not understand. My brain did not commute, compute. That was that, was, that, that was shit. everything at that time. That no, at that time. no, it wasn't. Because, like, bro, oh, bro, the whole point. The all right, no, no, thing. bro. Here, all right, yours is thing. like fucking dead. <laughs> I don't fucking. Yeah, but I'm. But what I'm saying is, at that time, right? And think about it, you had Homefront came out. All oh, these yeah, games, all about yeah, man, dog. Everything was trying to be like Call of Duty at that point. So but of course they're gonna go with what everybody. But it's else crazy to me that you look, you look at it, right, right. Even with Halo Reach, even if you're generous and say Halo Reach had loadouts too, technically mm-hmm. everyone had the same access to the same fucking loadout. It wasn't like customize your Spartan with perks and shit, like right. Like if this was, if there was a spinoff game where they experimented with shit like that. I'd be like, all right, you know, you tried it. The community didn't like it, right? Right? But you took a mainstay entry and made it with these gameplay mechanics in mind for multiplayer, knowing full well that a large part of the Halo community's enjoyment of Halo is part of the multiplayer. And a lot of the people that love Halo played it for the mechanics of 3, of Reach, and all that shit. Like, there are people that play Reach don't really like Reach's armor abilities mechanic, but they still play it because it's still based off the DNA of Halo 3, right? And prior Halos. So, like, you basically took the DNA and we're like, we're just going to keep the part that makes it look like it, kind of, and then just use other games as DNA and just shove that shit in there instead of just evolving what th- was already there, right? Mm. So, like, that Halo 1 to 2. They evolved the combat, dual wielding, added jacking uh, vehicles and shit, right? Polished up the cosmetics, added some new guns for the sandbox that will have all unique stuff that they do, right? Uh, Halo 2 to 3 added equipment, right? There's always some small evolution to the gameplay. It's not drastic, but it's small enough to where it either enhances the gameplay or makes it more interesting than the previous game, right? Halo 3 to Reach. Same shit. Armor abilities un- unlocked, right? It's not the the craziest thing. It's not what I was expecting when I played Reach for the first time, but it's still an enhancement over anything because I see Halo Infinite as what 
Halo, the iteration of Halo Reach and Halo 3 could have been had Bungie kept like making it. Halo Infinite expands on the equipment fucking aspect of Halo 3 and makes it so that it's a consumable that you can carry around. And it's not some broken shit, right, that you always have as a part of a loadout. It's something you have to go out, pick up on the map. You don't have it at the start. And that I think that point adds to Halo's arena style combat and makes it more fleshed out and shit like that. So you're going to you're going to sit here and go pull a 180 on me and go everyone starts with whatever fuck they want and then you have certain guns that were broken like the bolt the handgun that turned into shotgun the bolter or whatever it was called it, yeah. it that was available at the start uh you had the DMR which basically wrecked everybody like <laughs> Like and there was like overkill, so you could have two fucking primaries and shit like that. I was like, this is just Call of Duty with a Halo skin on, right? It's not fun. Hated it. It's so, it's so many people bitched about it that they had to make the original game mode without loadouts. Um, yeah, I hated it. I hated it so much. I stopped playing Halo because of it. Halo, Halo Four was Halo Four was was bad, man. The story was cool though. I did fuck with the I, 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 I like the, the, the story that they tried uh to, to put out there. I, I thought it was decent. I don't I, everything else, like some of the campaign yeah, levels, adult, the enemies, it was terrible. As an adult, I have an appreciation for Reach that I never had when it came out in 2010. And yeah, I can confidently say with my chest poked out, the Halo Reach might be the best Re- the Halo game by far. But I was too dumb to see because I didn't uh, like Bloom, and there was no battle <laughs> rifle. They went. Broom, broom, I broom, I liked broom. Reach, but I still like uh, uh, three. Is still one of my favorites, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it, it's like two different stories we're telling. We're telling them one's a tragedy, the other's a a, a triumph. Three's just. Just legendary, man. We're talking about a legendary run right there, man. Yeah, I get I've been, goosebumps when I think about Halo yeah, 3. I've been streaming Halo 3 campaign co-op uh past couple weeks. Uh just so I can play the, the campaign again, to be honest with you. I just want to play the campaign. It's so again. good, man. It good is campaign. good. Good campaign, man. Good campaign. Halo 2, pretty good. Halo 1, I have a hard time going back to because it just Kind of outdated, but I still love you. You got to remember the beginnings, man. That silent cartographer mission is goaded forever. Mm-hmm. One of the best missions of all mm-hmm. time. Oh, dude, Halo 2, my favorite mission is the very first one. It's literally the first mission. The, sta- the space station? Yeah, dude, it's so fucking cool. It's such my a great joint, fucking mission. It was the joint with the scare. That was the best mission. Dude, Megan from that mission, from the space station to to, to New Mombasa, to fighting the Scarab, all three of those missions in a row are my favorite part of Halo Halo 2. Yeah. Like, literally my favorite part. In Halo 3, I can't pick, man. That that mission with the two Scarabs is crazy. Yo, that's the... Yo, about Infinite's campaign, they could have had at least two Scarabs in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> two Bro, Scarabs! You know, the, 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 the shit at the end... What, I, I didn't peep this till I was way older, right? But fucking the guy, when you play that mission, and he's like, yo, they got two scarabs. Two sc- this is supposed to be the final battle between UNSC and the Covenant, right? Right? This is the final battle for all the fucking uh, hula hoops in the space, right? Fucking dude was on the mic, said two scarabs. Back in the day, we are like, what? We only, up at this point, we've only fought one. Two? How am I going to deal with two? Like, <laughs> That shit was crazy. Bro, it's supposed to be an army. <laughs> I remember when that game came out, man. Me and Jimmy did not sleep. Cause no, I did not sleep neither when I got did it. did not sleep, man. When that joint came out, man, yo, I stayed over my man's crib. We beat that whole game in one night. We did Bro, not that, that, sleep. That, that whole uh, sleepover when he had Halo 2 was, was literally the reason yeah, I got into Halo. Yeah. yeah, man. Me and this man go to sleep. I wake the fuck up. This man, this man, fucking E night. Beat the whole fucking campaign. Twenty four hours straight of just playing the same game over and over. And that's what I knew. Like just the campaign. 
just the campaign too. It wasn't multiplayer, just campaign. I was like, I think I was on like the the second to last level when you guys woke up. Yeah, man. Bro was bro was on that joint. That's what I was I locked in. I was locked in. A fucking monster, <laughs> bro. Man, from that bad. point on, that's all I wanted to play was Halo. I didn't have I didn't even have a console. I was just like I, I want to play Halo, bro. I want to play Halo. <laughs> Yeah, man, Halo 3 was the fucking goat, man. Dude, I get, yeah. Yeah, Shout that shit was Halo hilarious. Fucking three, man. Oh, God. But yeah, man. no, this is why a lot of people have an issue with live service. It ruins yeah. a lot of the, a lot of their favorite franchises. I mean, technically, Arkham, Arkham fans, have, uh, their franchise has been ruined because of Suicide Squad. To them, yeah. at least. Yeah. You no matter no matter how you can say oh they could revamp they could do it it's it's the damage has been done the damage is done yeah of course the damage is so, done but it, I, I like to think that I like to think I know this isn't what it is at all but I like to think these companies care mm-hmm. about their IPs and their players and stuff like that some do they want to do and they want to do right and they want to fix things because they know people are going to keep playing these games regardless. I mean, I just checked when we were talking about Suicide Squad earlier. On Steam, at least, there was 86 people playing this morning. 86 people online playing Mm -hmm. Suicide Squad. That is crazy to me. I mean, and sad. I mean, because it's just, again, this is somebody's, like, favorite game. Like, you got to think about that. We were talking about that the other day. Like, this is literally somebody's favorite game, man. Like, yeah. And you just kind of, you just you just kind of shitting on their favorite game, man. I mean, to be fair, but I'm just people saying, shit on my favorite game all the time, and people shit on your favorite game all the time. Yeah, I, I actually like. And some of those people, my favorite. Some game, of those man. people play your favorite fucking game, so it's I'm like. Not- I Listen, I'll talk shit, shit about favorite, all man. the games that I play that I like to play. Listen, people I talk about Skyrim. I get mad and I'm like, you know what? This nigga's kind of right, man. Yeah, like, yo, <laughs> yo, I maybe it may be instead of releasing Skyrim for like the 80th time, they'd actually just like release the next Elder Scrolls game. That'd be dope. You know, I think it'd be great. You know, Skyrim's all right. You know, Fallout, Fallout's coming to Fortnite. Fallout. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw that. I saw Fallout's that. It's apparently coming to Call of Duty too. For the rumors. Uh, well, I, at first I think it's Gundam, and then yeah, it's Gundam. I know because uh, BK was telling me about that. He was he's he's debating on buying Call of Duty just to get those skins. <laughs> and oh, I was yeah, like, I'm getting the Gundam skin. I already, I, already, I got like I think I got like twenty dollars in cob points. You know, you know, I'm waiting until right they now. fucking put in the Master Chief skin because technically they can do that now. Yeah. They might do a Black Ops Six, man. You don't know. Yeah, you never know. But yeah, no, it, it's uh, it's uh, it's 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 pretty interesting. That's all. This uh, the, the the Fallout has had its resurgence because the a good TV show came out. Facts. And Let's... I'm playing through seventy six right now, just because I'm I'm curious on what's changed since I last played it. So far, not not much. Besides, maybe more, more, uh, more content. I think seventy six. They chilled out with a lot of the survival mechanics. Like you can, you can like oh, fucking yeah. chill. Like I have a shit ton of ammo, a shit ton of food. Like I'm not it's, worried about starving and shit. Like I yeah, it, the, I remember when it came out. This one of the gripes I had is like they tried to do the survival thing, and it was like every two minutes, I my dude was starving, and I was just walking. Right? That's not it's not super realistic, and you know, water was hard to find, and uh, ammo you would run out all the time, so you had to switch guns, which fucked up your build because your build was based yeah. on the perk cards and shit. I still think they should should shave down some of the perk cards because it's like I have three versions of the same perk card, but it's like expert, master, and 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 regular. And each one, if you fully stack them, is like technically nine points into whatever special stat it's for with all all three of them. Um, and they only give a thirty percent bonus for each one. I think you could just shave that down and just 
just buff it to like just 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 be a twenty percent flat, right? Without it being like having to waste it. But that's just my my personal you're right with it. Some of the perks they don't seem to have many new perks either, from what yeah. I can tell. I don't know yet because I'm not at a max level with this character. Um and it doesn't seem like they added any new mutations to uh to the game, so it doesn't really change like gameplay too much. So it seems like they've just been focusing on story content and just content like that. Like there are a bunch of events that are pretty decent. Community super great. It's always been pretty great. A lot of nice people. Um, super chill. So it's definitely one of those games. I, I would say they fixed a lot of the bugs that I had issues with. Um, like the invincibility bug or where you could just like fight a dude and he just would not die because he, the game just did not register whether or not he was dead or not or something like that. Um, it's still still there's still a little bit of jank to it. I'm going to say it's in a more decent spot than it has than it was at launch. I'm not going to recommend it as like the fallout you should start with. I think you should fall if you want to play a newer games because you can't like get over like older graphics. I'd probably start with four. But if, if, if anything, you either should play New Vegas or three. Maybe three, to be honest. Three was my first Fallout game, so I, yeah, I, I, I'm a little I, biased I tell towards everybody, it. I think, I think as much as Vegas is better than three to me, I think three is the easier starting point. Yeah. Vegas is kind of rough. Yeah, Vegas is like a little bit more for people who've played Fallout. And it just, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I would say four if you don't like the older style graphics. And then like four is a lot more easier to like entry for casual players and yeah, three three in vegas are a little bit more hardcore with their rpg mechanics so like i would say if you never play fallout play fallout 4 just to kind of see what the universe is about 76 if you have a bunch of friends that want to play fallout together um you but you don't have to it's not really a true fallout game and even with the dialogue options they added it's still like it's the same outcome no matter what you choose it's very like with varying little variations or items you get from it. Um, so like I would just go with that instead of 76. 76 is just if you have friends that want to play, do that. If not, if you want more hardcore shit, Vegas and, and three yeah, are good. I, I think, yeah, I think he's right on that. I think Fallout 76 is good when you got some friends. I'm trying to get some people to, to hop on. Some more people to hop on so we can all fuck around on that game. But yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree yeah. with that. All right, also, let's bring out these no, you're good. You're good. That's I was good. gonna say I also I haven't paid for Fallout first at all, and I don't think you should. So unless you really want that private world shit. Otherwise, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get enough people to where I can just get that shit. Yeah. Yeah, be, right. It'll be worth it if we got a good group of people. We do get all the other shit too from it, but yeah. it's all like in game stuff. Yeah. All right, let's bang out two more topics real quick and then we'll close this one out. I want to I go over something briefly. Um, in the midst of Assassin's Creed Shadows being announced and all of that drama and stuff, mm -hmm. um, Ubisoft made a nice little quick like announcement that they were effectively canceling the division heartlands which was going to be their free to play uh division game mm -hmm. um i was under nda i don't know if the ndas it probably up. is yeah so i'm not it, i think it's it. indefinite <laughs> so you should yeah, probably be careful yeah but the, 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 yeah the game's done it's cooked they just, they basically, they didn't give a reason or anything. They just said, look, we canceled it. And the writing was kind of on a wall because I think a couple months ago, we did report on the podcast that um, Ubisoft is working on Division 3. Like, that's coming, like, mm -hmm. within the next, like, year or two. So, effectively, they just kind of killed this game off, which I'm sad because it looked like it was going to be decent and it was going to be fun and it, it had some elements to it that I think 
a lot of people would have enjoyed. But hey, man, it's, the, it's their game. They can do what they want with it, man. They put a lot of development into it, which is crazy, too. So hopefully that just goes over to the next game, which which it definitely probably will. You know what I mean? But um, the division, Heartlands is done, man. How, does, how do you feel about that, man? Uh, I didn't really have much of an opinion, to be honest. Like, Division 2 is okay. Kind of, kind of mid in my eyes, but I understand who it appeals to. And it's just not yeah, me. Toph still plays the shit out of it. Yeah, Toph will play the fuck out of any game, to be honest with you. As long he as he plays, can play with his friends. He plays friend. the shit out of Division 2. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. I still no, have he, a lot of he loves that to play shit. Too. I, think, uh, I think Runa also plays Division 2. Yeah, for just yeah. just by himself though. I don't know if he plays with anybody else. It's, it's a good game. It's just, it, I it's just, just I, don't, I don't. It's a it's a number thing, right? Yeah, it's it, yeah. it's it's meant for people who like, you know, making builds and stuff. I know my cousin would, was crazy about it, making builds until they redid the whole um thing to make it a little bit more casual friendly. But the 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 best moment that I had in that game was literally us finding a secret hunter boss and then it, that dude just wrecking an entire fucking downtown street trying to kill us the entire time he was active that shit was hilarious yeah but yeah other than that i i think gameplay wise it's just not that interesting to me it's would you a, be would you be excited for division three not really i'd be curious but not not excited i feel you, I feel you. i'd be like oh okay it's probably gonna be like division two and right. Division Two was kind of like Division One, so. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and in our last topic, man, we we have to report this, man. Oh yeah, that's I true. Wanna, I don't want to report it, but we got to do it, man. So, Xbox, you know, they've been spending a lot of money right now. Microsoft, they've been spending a lot of money right now. Yep. Uh, they just bought Activision, one of the biggest acquisitions in history. Um, they bought Activision, mm-hmm. and uh, with that, you know, they just they be cleaning up and they get rid of things. So, uh, following my, Microsoft's shock decision to close Hi-Fi Rush developer Tango GameWorks, Steam users are leaving positive reviews for critically acclaimed rhythm action game. Um, if you don't know, uh, t- uh, Tango GameWorks worked on a lot of games. Not just mm-hmm. High Fire Rush, that was the most recent, which was a lot of people's top five for you know games of the year last year. Oh yeah, um, no, it was it was up there. It also won a couple of awards. And yeah. uh from what I've seen of it, because I, I was curious about it when it, it came out, but um I, I I it's probably a game I'm gonna eventually buy and play at some point. Probably do it on stream too. If the music isn't copyrighted, if it's copyrighted, I'll probably play it off stream so I can actually enjoy the full yeah, extent heard, of the I, game. I heard um, uh, the game's good, but um, yeah, developer Tango GameWorks, they worked on like Evil Within. They did Ghostwire Tokyo. Mm-hmm. They did a couple games. They they laid off, um, they, they, they closed, uh, what is that, Arcane Austin. Which was responsible for Redfall, the Prey Re- yeah, Redfall and the Prey reboot. Now the Prey the reboot DLC. was good, though. Yeah, it was good, but it was good. Go, man, they let them go. Well, I, I heard that they subsidized some of those people in the other groups, mainly because I, I, I have a theory that uh, I think they're trying to get whatever. Elder Scrolls, they got going. I think they trying to get that shit done. Mm-hmm. And then I think they trying to get some of this Fallout money real quick. So I think they working on a new Fallout. Like, it's only right. Like, the show's doing good. P- people's interest in the series is at an all-time high. The highest it's probably ever been in a long time. Mm-hmm. I think what they're trying to do is they're just trying to shut these studios down you know, kill all these little projects. We need a Fallout real quick, man. So don't be surprised if we get a Fallout 5, like, the problem is the that next it, year or so. Yeah, I'd be mad if it's they did this and, and it's super rushed and, and it's just it's the same problem that we had with, like... That's what I'm scared of. Redfall and shit like that. Yeah, and that's what like I'm that. scared of. Because it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, we, we don't just want these games. Like, we're sitting here waiting for Elder Scrolls 
fucking what is it? Is it? No, where are they? Where are they sending it? It's not Daggerfall. It's a Hammerfell. Uh, Hammerfell, apparently. Yeah, we're, we're still Redfall. That's the. Oh no, no, that, that was the that was that was the that game, yeah. that was the terrible yeah. game. <laughs> yeah, but we're still waiting for that game to come out, right? That's apparently next in the rotation because we had Fallout Four back then and seventy six. Starfield came out, and after Starfield, it's supposed to be Elder Scrolls. Please they drop a Fallout Five. My heart, my heart can't take no more, man. What? My heart can't take no more. I can't wait, man. Uh, so, the, so if they drop out Fallout Five before Six is out, or is it Elder Scrolls Six or Seven? Six. Six. Okay. Chris Warren, I thought Elder Scrolls Six was was Skyrim for some reason, but that's five. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, they drop F- Fallout 5 out, right? Before Three's it's ready. Fall. And it ruins Three's the franchise. Rolling. I feel like the whole... All right, Fallout 4, right? The main criticism was that it wasn't like the older Fallouts, right? The dialogue yeah, option casual. 3. With two, yeah, it was too casual. A lot of people didn't like it. They, they liked the the universe it was set in. They liked the quest lines. They just didn't like the dialogue options and the voice protagonist, right? Then 76 came out and was a, basically an asset flip, right? Of Fallout yeah. 4. With some new new shit sprinkled in there, people didn't like it because it wasn't a Fallout game. But let's be honest, it, it wasn't a Fallout game. It was supposed to be Fallout multiplayer. It was survival based PvP. Uh, it was broken at launch. Um, there was no NPC, barely any NPCs that you could actually have a dialogue with. Uh, most of it was hollow tapes and shit, like nothing like it, how it is right now. Mm-hmm. That's that's why a lot of people hated it, right? They were like, "Oh, make your own fun," and it's like, "No, dude, like this is not what we wanted. It's not what we were expecting." Get you guys were trying to experiment with multiplayer Fallout, like you did with the Elder Scrolls MMO, but it's like this ain't it, Chief, right? So you gave them a long time to cook. They eventually fixed a lot of shit, added some NPCs, added a dialogue system that's reminiscent of the older games, but at the same time, it's still kind of like pointless because it's. Same outcome for most of the shit. Um, the thing I think would be a, a terrible disservice to the Fallout franchise is if you rush development for a game, it comes out and it's a single player get Fallout game and it's buggy shit and it's broken as shit and the game is that's, not good. That's, that's the Bethesda touch, man. We, we need that. We No, no. It was charming when Skyrim did it back in the day when we didn't really know know better right but it's not charming when we're we're, we're like older we understand why the modders bro the modders won't even fix starfield like a lot of them didn't want to even do mods for starfield because they didn't want to deal with the shit with starfield and it's like starfield had a lot of like i had a game breaking bug where i could not shoot my gun and i had to reload i lost five hours because of that shit like yeah fucked up like i i think i think like we're past the 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 charitability of Fallout bugs being more comical than they are game breaking, and a lot of the bugs in seventy six were game breaking. A lot of bugs yeah, in Starfield yeah. so far been either game breaking or just kind of like playthrough ruining for the most part. I think it's high I time no they bugs with Starfield. That's I crazy. Know. I had so many. I so no many. The game, the game was ran smooth as hell. Yeah, everything worked. Dude, they're I just know, now adding an FOB bugs. slider, which is why I'm going to go back and finish the game. Yeah, and apparently that that should have been in too. there. I'm not getting what? Hype for that. Getting what? I'm getting vehicles. Are they? Yeah, they they're working on a dune buggy or something. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's 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 cool, but it's like. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we'll happens. See, man, I'm excited for Fallout Five. I'll take anything from Bethesda that's not Redfall. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Whatever if it, it comes out, out and it's just like Redfall, would you be done with the franchise afterwards? No. Nah, would, would you take a long, extended break? If Elder Scrolls Six comes out and it's ash, I'll be heartbroken. No, I I would be heartbroken with you to be honest. I, want I, I might stop out. playing games altogether. That shit's fucked up. I was so hyped for Skyrim 
when it was announced, I wanted to play the fuck out of the game. I must have watched that trailer 300 times. Just That's the crazy thing about that, because I will always remember that as one of the, the weirdest L's I ever took in my life, man. What? Because you was hyping the Skyrim join up to me, and I was like, yeah, I like the Oblivion, but Call of Duty, though, because Modern Warfare 3 was dropping like the same right. day. Right. The same day. Right. Like a week before. Right. Like a week before. I was like, nah, man, I'm going to just wait. I'm going to just wait. And then Christmas time came, and then I think I got Skyrim for Christmas. And that's when I learned I made a big mistake. Yeah. I should have got Skyrim. Yeah. Instead, I was man. playing the fuck out of it when I launched. I bought that shit. I was so happy. No, that game was that, that shit game. was so much fun. I knew I loved that game when I I play I started playing at 10 in the morning. And by the time I looked up, it was 10 in the morning the next day. Yeah, no, like, yeah, same shit. Same shit happening. Yeah, game. This, this is the this is the the this is it. This is my favorite game of all time. Yeah, and that 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 is what it is, dog. Yeah, that no was you. That was your Halo, my man. <laughs> that was that. There is no game that will ever come close to Skyrim to me ever. Sorry, I think Witcher three, Witcher three, Metal Gear Solid three, Cyberpunk is getting up there. I'm not gonna lie, Cyberpunk's up there too. Maybe Red Dead Redemption two, I mean, Halo three. I mean. My top five is is crazy. That's about my top five right there. It was like six games. Oh, well, top six. <laughs> right. No, nah, but yeah, I I I I think if the new Elder Scrolls game comes out and it's just fucking awful, I think I think I'm gonna just put down their their games for a while and not come back till I know for sure. How about good. picking up a game? If that shit, if that Look, shit comes out fucked up, I'm done. My man quit streaming. Uh, yeah, I'm an IRL done. streamer now. Uh, I'm gonna go oh, outside man. and touch I'm, grass. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> that would break my fucking heart, man. Like I yeah. like Starfield, so that's it's positive, man. I, I think like Starfield is, is decent. I think a lot of their ideas are good. I just I don't know why they didn't just expand upon them a little bit more. Yeah. Would it cook a little bit more? Yeah. But yeah, I just it's like I say. I always, I, I'm, a, I'm a always say. I think the space thing is just, it's just hard to pull off, man. It is, it's hard. Like it is, Mass Effect, it isn't. Mass Effect struck lightning in a bottle. That I think what the charm of Mass Effect is the characters. Yeah, more than anything, it's just the, they have some of the most iconic characters in in in, in RPG games. Yeah, Garrus is the goat. Yeah, so it's just I think that's what they've always had working for them is that from the first game they built a very strong foundation. Mm -hmm. What's and, that? And, in I, the and, event? and that's what I'm excited to see if they ever do do a Starfield too. What that would look like because the, they, the, they got to bring the aliens in next. Yeah, the events. Uh, yeah, that's probably the most disappointing thing for me in in Starfield is that. It's like no intelligent alien life. Everybody's a human, and that shit kind of just irritates yeah, the fuck out of me. Yeah. I was like, you have actual alien creatures. You don't have any smart, intelligent life, any intergalactic. No, it's all humans. Bro, you got ghouls and Fallout. It's NASA punk. You man. got all types of fucking... Yeah, you can have NASA punk, and it be like, like aliens too, dude. Like, you could do that. Fucking no. look at aliens, yeah, the actual I mean, franchise. No. That shit is like stuck in the 1970s and they still got aliens. Like yeah. it's it's know, just man. disappointing. That's all. Like it should have been it should have been some alien dudes. Like I got so excited finding that one ship that's like been like like the old ship that had strange signals and they couldn't figure it out and didn't it wasn't known to them. And I get on there, I'm like, oh shit, it's about to be aliens in this bitch. No, nah, it's just dudes from like the 20th century. And I'm like, bro, fuck off. Oh, you that one. Fuck oh, I off. Know. I was so tempted. Just blow them out the sky. Don't worry about it. 
<laughs> nah, like, chill, man. That's a good mission. That's it's a good, a good mission. It'd yeah. be a great mission, but it's like the the opportunity to have. That's what I'll be saying, man. Again. That's that Bethesda charm right there. That's that shit I'll be dying for, man. It's, Give me a hard decision, man. That just makes me. Oh, that like, that wasn't that hard of a decision. It's uh, like go side uh, with the corporate assholes or side with the people that are just trying to live. I was like the people that are trying to live. Like, what, yeah, the but fuck? if you side with the people that's trying to live, there's there's different outcomes. Like you could turn them in, you could literally make them slaves. You know no, I mean? no. I told them to like just 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 go. Just find a new planet. Like figure it out. Like you'll be fine. We upgrade yeah, your technology. There was, a, there was a dilemma with that. I forget what the fuck it was. There's a dilemma with that. I picked the I picked the one when I f- I ain't gonna spoil it for the, yeah. for the viewers. I'm pretty sure I killed that CEO too. Pretty sure oh, I just should have killed him. There's a whole mission with that. Yeah. There's a lot of, I mean, like I said, like, like Neon, if you ever got the Neon yet, that I'm, planet. Like, I've just started on Neon, like, sh- there's the quest line, so. There's so how many quest so lines fi- here, dog. I was fixated on the uh, the Alliance quest line with the uh, Xenomorph ju- dudes, and, Let's like, see. that one, that one scratched a good itch. I was like, oh, that these dudes, good. until, until, good. until the end of it, and I was like, oh, that's kind of lame. <laughs> That joint was good, man. I like Star. It Fred, could. It, it was like, bro, really? You don't think anyone would have noticed that this would have? This is what was occurring, really, really. Man. Like the start Let's was see. great, the end was terrible. That that quest line disappointed the hell out of me. Yeah. yeah Sorry. We'll have to see. Well, man, look. Let's let's wrap this one up, man. It's getting kind of late. No, I got sorry. two. I got two shout outs for y'all. Um, they redeemed the um, shout on the next podcast in my chat, so I gotta shout them out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna when they re- people redeem this, I'm gonna do this at the end of the, the uh, podcast. So you gotta watch the whole thing for your shout out. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna shout out two individuals. My boy Black Kings ninety one. Shout out to him, man. He he redeemed it. Dope dude. Um, does a lot. You you see him chilling with me a lot of times in the in the Lily Liddy Lounge when I'm streaming or he's playing a game with me or he's playing Suicide Squad with me right now. So that's the person I've been running the game with. And then we got my boy uh X Blaze X one two two, not Blaze X Inferno. You know what I mean? That's Lil Blaze right there. That's my guy, man. That's my guy right there. He just recently hit affiliate, so congratulations to him. Hey, congrats. Make sure you go um, show him some love. Both of their links to both of their Twitch accounts will be in the description for the podcast. Um, make sure you check them out. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But that's all we got, man. That's all we got for this one. I think we 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 touched on everything that I think we needed to. If we need to touch on things more, I mean, we'll... Name of this podcast is unknown yet. I mean, uh, maybe it'll be Hell Divers IRL Mission Complete. Uh, maybe we'll make that the, the, uh, the title, or we'll just do uh, Assassin's Creed Shadow or something. I don't know. I'll come up with something clever. But that's it. That's it for this episode, man. This, game, uh, this, this podcast is Halo Infinite, could have been. <laughs> yeah. Another Halo, Halo rant. Another Halo podcast, man. Listen. We haven't had one of them in a while, man. But we don't get too many. I always I find a way to bring it up. I'll sneak it in there. I just don't rant about it all the time. Yeah, we gotta we got destiny one we gotta do. We, we fuck around gotta do a Halo one too. We just overdo food. Yeah. I mean, as always, make sure you stay tuned for the next podcast. We're back doing these more regularly, so they'll be out bi weekly. So when you listen to this. Uh, if you do listen to it on the day it drops, it'll be dropping two weeks after that, the next one. All right? Uh, make sure you check out those links. Follow us both at Twitch at twitch.tv slash blazedxinferno and twitch.tv slash enight117. Make sure you check out Couch Combat on YouTube. Check that shit out. My boy's got a lot of shit going on over there. Um mm. And I think that's it, man. I think that's all we got for this show, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, five stars on the rainy. Like if you if you if you got this far, comment, 
Let us know how you feeling about that Assassin's Creed shit and all of that. And we'll see you in the next one. I gotta take a shit. I don't. I do. I don't. I do. I'm gonna go with you. All right. Pause.